What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and we're back with a brand new episode of the Diverse Mentality Podcast. This is episode six, and I have a special guest. And no, no, guys, it's not a rapper. Relax. I know you guys are going to kill me and be like, where's the rapper? Where's the rapper? This is a special friend that we've known for quite some time now. Uh, very um, intellectual individual. Wow, I appreciate Someone that. who is yeah. very skilled in a lot of things. So Indeed. Uh, say what's up to Tafili. Everybody, how's it going? <laughs> nah, nah, right. Man, that's pretty. That's, <laughs> man, that's pretty generous. Yeah. yeah. Now, when we go back, bro, so it's uh, it's nice to be here, bro. I've been watching you for a while now. Yeah. It's nice to be a part of this, like you know, this empire and whatnot. Appreciate and, it. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to all the other podcasts coming out, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, and then we have Vito here, of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Thank you guys. How you guys doing? This this the clown feeding. is always welcome. <laughs> I've known you for God bro. knows how long. Before we had pews, man. <laughs> exactly. I think we go back. We bro. go way we go back, man. Back. Budokai three, man. What do yeah, you know about that? Yeah. Russell, oh my <laughs> come goodness. see me at that, man. <laughs> yeah, they go way back more than me. You know, I was yes. the one that was always inside the crib working, doing other things, and they were hanging out and stuff. Dude. So, but yeah, yes. we grew we grew a great relationship over time. Uh, the first time was really about the. the photo shoot that we had that's right for my ep that's right. yeah i used to make music guys you know yeah. retired rapper but <laughs> <laughs> yeah i used to make music and he was the one that helped me uh do the photo shoot for it yeah i remember so, that was yeah. up in ames bro yeah, yeah you ames. Were in ames. Right. Iowa. yeah that's that a professional yeah. ass studio yeah. millions yeah. of dollars that's he hooked yeah. it up he hooked it up yeah shout out to yeah, yeah. Man. shout out man. you're a beast Appreciate man. It, man. we right, fucking man. love you yeah at the time i needed that um you know the artwork came out beautiful because we had great photos yeah and then the graphic designer made it you know what it was but yeah, we got a lot to talk about today, man. A lot of hip hop stuff. I know you love hip hop. We always listen to it. So you send me songs here and there. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot we got to talk about. Shout um, out to Playboy Cardi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he loves Playboy Cardi. That's one of his favorites. So yeah, man. yeah, we can talk about who your favorites are too down For the line, sure, and yeah. you know how you got into it and all that. Yeah. So um, yeah, one of the first topics I want to talk about is more of a serious topic. Um, you know, this is. I like to talk about uh, surrounding yourself with great people and people who, you know, know your vision, understand it. And, um, you know, if you're involved in a certain lifestyle, you kind of move on from that lifestyle with those people. And hopefully they adapt to that and they don't try to drag you back to something that's toxic and um, that could, you know, drag you backwards, obviously. So um, and this ties into King Vaughn passing away rest at the age peace. of yeah, rest, rest in, in peace, peace to him passing away at the age of 26 following a shooting involving police in Georgia here in Atlanta. We're located here. Um, I want to go over the article and then talk about, you know, the, the people surrounding him and what exactly happened because he was involved in a lot of street situations that I'm not going to speak on because I'm not part of that lifestyle. So there's nothing I can say that I can add or take away from. So uh, let's go over the article quickly. TMZ cites sources as saying three people, including King Vaughn, were killed in the shooting. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the incident occurred outside a nightclub in downtown Atlanta early Friday morning. Reporters Chelsea Prince and John Spink noted that several others were injured. TMZ put the number of people shot at six people. That is insane. I did not know that wow. part. Uh, one person was said to have been struck by a vehicle when the crowd outside the Monaco Hookah Lounge, I've never been there in terms of hookahs around here, uh, started to scatter. The report also noted that local authorities had been called to the club twice over a 24-hour period to investigate shootings, though there is zero evidence the two incidents are related. During the early Friday morning shooting, two off-duty cops who were working security are said to have tried to intervene, ultimately exchanging gunfire with as yet unidentified individuals. The physical altercation escalated in an exchange of gunfire with those groups, Atlanta Police Deputy Chief Timothy Peake said two police officers who were working at the particular club or lounge noticed altercation and engaged in some of the police involved. There was an exchange of gunfire with police as well. So the GA uh, Brio, Brio, can't even say this word, <laughs> Brio Investigation has enlisted Brio, Brio yeah, whatever the Euro. fuck, <laughs> Euro, Brio, yeah. yeah, I don't even know, I'm getting that shit completely, I, I, yeah. yeah, enlisted to investigate, uh, Let's see here. But yeah, a lot of uh, outpouring support for him. Obviously, Lil Dirk was one of the early founders of King Von, uh, supported him early on. I saw his DJ, you know, go live uh, and, you know, basically be very upset about the situation. Um, yeah, man, just a tragic, tragic uh, thing at the age of 26, man. That's young. He's only one year older than me. Um, and that's just 
he was just he just released the project too. I talked I talked mm-hmm. with you about um yeah. the Welcome to Old Block album, you know, and to have that happen just starting your career, mm. you know, it sucks, man. And he has three kids too, man. Um, leaving back a family, and I believe he's he was married or is in a relationship with uh, I think another female rapper. Well, I gotta oh, figure really? out who. Um, but yeah, man, situation is crazy. It's crazy how it happened. It's always after. When everything shuts down, three o'clock, yeah. three a.m., people are drunk, getting out at the clubs, yeah, getting fucked yeah, we, up. Yeah, we talked about this and earlier. Right. You know, I mean, it goes back getting to into arguments. Point. Yeah, and then you know, and then the gun laws in Atlanta, not strict at all. Everybody's carrying weapons. Right, anybody can get a gun, bro. No, you know? true. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's just too easy here, man. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Like I go to a gas station, guys just showing up his gun. Yeah. That's how it is up in Virginia, bro. Like yeah, it's first it's time I insane. walked into a and Walmart, and then you get yeah. it's like you, you yeah. can't even get in an argument with nobody. If you get an yeah. argument with a person, that's it. He's pulling the gun and bump. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, that's, we, a, yeah, yeah, that's we, the resort. I mean, like, like kind of imagine his DJ though. Like yeah. you got a private moment, you know, like you know your best friend died. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you're on live and the whole world's watching you. Yeah. And you don't have that private moment to kind of self, you yeah. know, reflect. That was Lil Durk, his DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil yeah. Durk, yeah. yeah. The, if you guys don't know, Lil Durk uh, was on live Instagram live. Um, when he found out the news and you can see his like energy yeah. change he was having a yeah. great night and then you kind of kind of looks at the camera i'm sure he got a text message and he just like shut it up and then yeah he yeah. just kind of like closed off and it's a very sad yeah. uh moment to witness man people and were then, c- commenting on the on the live yeah, like yeah. he got shot you know he got shot yeah that's very man yeah. that's a uh, man, that's a weird yeah, that's a sad way to find out about like somebody close to you dying man that's the that's, worst way to end a night that's yeah, yeah. one of the worst man you i know? couldn't you know Definitely. I couldn't imagine. Let me go into more details. The article yeah. goes into more details. On Friday, November 6th, around 3.20 a.m., two off-duty pol- Atlanta police officers were working an extra job at Monaco Hoka Lounge. The officers were in uniform and a marked APD vehicle with his blue lights activated for the visibility with parked nearby. The officers were outside the lounge when two groups of males started to argue with each other. The argument quickly escalated to gunfire between the two groups. One of the off-duty officers, along with the on-duty Atlanta police officer who was patrolling nearby, confronted the shooters, and shots were fired during the encounter. Three suspects were located on scene with gunshot wounds and were transported to the hospital by EMS. Three other suspects left the scene and were taken to the hospital by private vehicles. Two additional suspects were detained on scene. So that's six people. There had to be a... uh, he ran into somebody that probably had problems with, which I don't, you know, I don't know the beef history of King Von. I just got put onto King Von, mm-hmm. by the way. So I don't, his history right now, I'm very new to. And I want to, you know, kind of get into this a little bit more and deep dive. But three of the persons shot in the incident have died as a result. So three died. Mm-hmm. Tonight. Not just King Von, mm-hmm. two other individuals as a result of their wounds and three others are being treated in the area hospitals. The officers were not injured. Damn. That is crazy. That's tragic, bro. Yeah, man, that's that's insane. What um, do you think his uh, impact was on the game? I mean, he, he O Block, you know, has its generations. Mm-hmm. Chief Keith, Lil Dirk, um, Montana of Three Hundred, um, FBG Duck, uh, a lot of artists, man, that came out of that surrounding surrounding area. Not specifically O Block, but Chicago music scene was. They have generations, you know. That happens in Atlanta where there's generations, future coming out, and then there's little baby and all these. So. He was the newer generation to keep that momentum going. And, you know, when you have that kind of die out, then somebody else has to pick that up. Yeah. And if it doesn't it doesn't get picked up, that whole area, that scene of music just dies out. Mm. And that's, yeah. a, you know, that's not... I like to have different variants of music. And when that, that happens, it's just, you know, hopefully somebody continues it on. His DJ was like, we're going to continue doing this shit. And then let's talk about the clown, the rainbow hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, that, that guy, man, uh, he... When there's Fuck. academics posted a video of the live of uh, Lil Durk reacting to this in, uh, situation of him finding out King Von died. And then 6 Nines clown ass looking for clout like he normally does uh, put a laughing emoji below it. Honestly, bro, that's just like childlike. Yeah. yeah that's I don't you respect expe- that You expect at that all, like man. out of an 11-year-old no. that doesn't have the <laughs> no. cognitive functions. Yeah. Like, like, 11-year-old wouldn't like, do that. Dude, you're an adult now. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck? More importantly, when you mock somebody, yeah. you think lesser of that person. Whether it's like, you know, we, we tease each other all the time, yeah. that's different. But yeah. like when you try to like, you know, be rude or disrespectful. I mean, this is involving a death, man. That's, that's the thing. Unacceptable. Like, so like you're, you're thinking, you're yeah. demeaning a dead person. Like, how yeah. low do you have to be, bro? Exactly. That's some, 
it's it's, it's, it's harmful. And I'm telling you right now, bro, it comes with consequences. Yeah. I'm not saying either. I'm just yeah. saying usually. No, nah, man, all that karma comes back. Man. It does. And that's bro. the thing he doesn't Straight realize, up. man. All the shit he's doing. He went to Nipsey's, um, like the, the painting that they had in mm. Crenshaw or whatever for him. Mm. And like trolled and like pretend like he was on his Nipsey? knee. Yeah. Yeah. Nipsey, man. Who like, doesn't like Nipsey? No, nah, like he was lucky at security. Yeah. Because there are people looking around like, what, like, what the fuck are you about to do, man? Because, you know. So he had security. He did that thing quick and went straight into his vehicle and security. Course, looked, man, course. Yeah. So like to do that, I know Lil Dirk and Six Nine have like little back and forth with each other when it comes to disses, but you don't disrespect the dead. That's just that's, that's off it's, limits. It's, that's, yeah. That's classless, you man. Know, that's it's very. Not. And he just does this for attention, man. The guys, the guys, the album flopped. Like, let me get that. Like, <laughs> it flopped. There's yeah. no nobody's bumping that shit anymore. Get, like, you're out of here. That whole gimmick of trying to get people's mm. attention through talking shit is done, man. So, I mean, how far do you have to reach yeah. to make fun of a dead man? You know, that's that's the, yeah. There's no, there's a, there's no it's lower crazy, than that. Man. There's it's no crazy. lower than that. So that that yeah, I don't like that at all, man. Six nine, just get the fuck out of here. Nobody cares about the music. Make that Spanish music that you're making, and then go do some vlogging with some YouTubers and some shit, man. Mm. So yeah, I don't I don't respect that at all, man. So rest in peace, to King Von, age twenty six, too young, man. Yeah, and piece, yeah, um. The next thing, speaking of more death, unfortunately, um, mental health, man. When when people, you know, when people pass away, a lot of people struggle with that. Uh, it's hard to get past that sometimes. Some people, you know, I've I've seen stories of people like sleeping um, when they're sleeping in bed. They'll have like a T-shirt of the person mm. next, like just to like remember them mm. or like keep the room the same way after they pass away. That's that's mentally not accepting that the person has passed away, and that's crazy. You know, when I see that, I'm like, damn. I personally, what's crazy is I haven't really dealt with dealt like death like that from mm-hmm. somebody close, which thank God, but I've dealt with like some people that I know, a person that knows a person and I've met the person probably like briefly, but I don't know the person like, like personally like that. Right. So I don't know, like, I don't know how I would deal with that situation, but, um, you know, it's something psychologically that, that changes you as a person. Absolutely. And man. You, you never met Ia? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Ealy, yeah. yeah. I yeah. met him a few Yali. times. Yeah, but, like, I wasn't cl- close, you right. know. Like, right, the right. close I ever yeah. had experience to death was when uh, Micho got shot, yeah. my best friend. Yeah, and he can't walk anymore. Like, that was that was the closest. He was about to die. Like, he had, mm. like, six minutes of, like, no mm. heartbeat or something like that. And that was the closest I ever got to that. And that was crazy to me. So, um, but yeah, mental health, when it re- revolves around that, is uh, very important, man. And I know in the hip-hop community, it's looked at as a weak thing. Mental health. I think it's just like, yeah, it's just part of society where it's just like looked yeah. down upon where like you can't hold it up on your own. Yeah. But like honestly, man, like statistic wise, forty million Americans deal with it. Like one in every five American deals with it. Yeah. That's and crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that. The thing was with mental health, man, it encompasses everything. It's like nested. It's your psychological well being, it's your emotional well being, it's your social well being. Yeah. And it's all like coming together. So you know, it impacts your thoughts, man, your behaviors. Oh, definitely. It impacts your emotions. And the thing is, like, when you're at your 100%, when you're healthy, you're mm-hmm. more productive, you're more effective. You know? right. And people don't, I mean, it's not weakness. Some you, people, some people, they go harder when something happens. Yeah. Like, like Michael, Kanye yeah. West. Michael Jordan. No, no yeah, <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yeah, no, Kanye yeah. West, though, too. Kanye West, when his mom died. That's right. He, next gear. Right, you don't think he lost it, though, a little bit? No, no. Dude, dude right after his mom died, which is after graduation, yeah. which was in December 2007, his mom died. 808's heartbreaks come mm, out. That's Boom. right. To a whole right. new sound, whole right. new thing. Yeah, right. And then you have My Beautiful Dark Twisted that's Fantasy. My favorite album, by the yeah. way. My favorite album. <laughs> so album. That, that's what 50 had a problem with yeah. Banks. That's what 50 yeah. had a problem with Banks because Banks' father died and he kind of just shut down and didn't uh, make any more music. It was kind of like low-key. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so some people deal with death differently. Some people will close off from the whole world and not do anything. And yeah. some people will just go into harder mode and be like, I got to do it for them. You know, like, this is why I build all this up, you know. I think that's I the mean, first I, step, man. Sorry to cut you off. Bro. No, no, no. I was just saying, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. No, there's nothing. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, the, the greats do it. You know? You know? I don't know why exactly, it's yeah. like a thing. Like, yeah. the first step is to recognize it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the exactly. moment you're feeling unhappy, your relationships are suffering, mm-hmm. and just read about it, you know? Learn about it. Exactly. If you, you know, if you figure you need something, get professional help. If you're sick, if you're physically sick, you go to the doctor. You broke your foot, man. What are you going to do? Heal it yourself? Exactly. No, you need a professional. Yeah. yeah. So there's a professional in your mind, man. People, I don't know what it is. Like, you got we got to break through that fucking It's the, it's the masculine mentality. Like, yeah, yeah we can't talk about feeling. Can't, like, nah. No, I feel like it's nah. more masculine to be real, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. It's that's, more masculine. That's it's, it's to be vulnerable, bro, it takes courage. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's man. easy to put up a front and be like, yeah, I got this. But yeah. nah, man. Like, yeah. Deep down, then you're like, you know, in the dark, you're like behind in your room yeah. crying. <laughs> like, come on. Like, get, you know, 
get it talking. We're laughing about this shit. But, you know, I'm just, <laughs> no, it's a serious yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, you know, like that happens, shit. you know, and it's like, no, I just talk, you know, talk about it. So the reason why we're going into mental health is because the baby's brother um, committed suicide. And the, the way the baby found out was the most fucked up thing. And that's why I hate TMZ too, is they reported it before the baby even found out. So like how, imagine you close family member dies and you see it all over headlines on the news and that's how you find out. You don't even find out like a close family member. You find out just reading headlines yeah. and people tagging, Hey, your brother died. Like that's Z B people's business too fast, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's too much, man. That's disrespectful that TMZ needs to back off a little bit. They don't give a shit though. That's all about building their brand that's and right. they, really, yeah. they don't care. So he found out about his brother's death, um, tweeted like a broken heart emoji, uh, tweeted the lyrics. He has a intro. He has a song called "Intro" off his album, where he's like, you know, uh, I'll give everything up, you know, for you, brother. Blah blah blah, stuff like that. Uh, I want to go through the bars, but I don't have it with me right now. But um, yeah, he then tweets about mental health awareness. He goes on Twitter and says, hashtag mental health awareness. If you can't get over depression, get help. You see a loved one struggling, get them help. They refuse the help. Make them get treated anywhere. You suffer from PTSD, yeah. take that shit serious and get help. I'm about to get a therapist, my damn self. And then he says, long live G, which is a brother. That's some so, real that's shit. That's some man. real yeah, shit. Yeah, that's, that's real. as real that's as it real. gets, yeah. man. So, I felt that one. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to the baby for yes. like, first off, accepting, you know, like, hey, I need help. That's right. After, you know, like, that's hard to do. And then to tweet it, you know, a lot of people were reacting to it like, you know, that's, that's some real shit that you said. So, and if people want to call him like weak and whatnot, man, that guy was really about the street life. Like, oh, yeah, like, like I mean, most people that call him weak are yeah, like, some, like some white kid in the suburbs, <laughs> like, never experienced any, yeah, like, like, any tough things in their life. Larry. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, get over that, what, that shit, man. <laughs> like, I mean, for him to say that, no, you know, I mean, he's that's serious, man. Nah, I'm man. glad, bro. I'm I, glad to think, I think the culture is changing, bro. And uh, ho I'll, hopefully, it keeps going, you know, man. That's like, I don't know why it's in hip hop, but it was so like. So look down on. Yeah. You have to be gangster. You have to be tough all the time. Like even Kevin Gates. What I like about Kevin Gates, man, he'll just interviews just straight up tell you, man, hey, this moment, like my, I was in pain, man. I was this girl left me, and I, I almost wanted to kill myself, blow my brain. Like he'll straight yeah, up, yeah. he'll tell you, you know, he doesn't care what people think about him, and that's why I like his interviews. He's straight that. up, you know, like he has some of the best interviews in, in his music. He writes I everything. Respect him more for that, man. For real, for real. No, he in interviews, he was like he was doing uh. Uh, heroin, you know, like, uh, like he was doing that at one point. He was like yeah. a drug addict. Like he was like syrup, heroin, everything. And he's like, the only thing that got me past that, he was like, I started uh, studying Islam. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, I got a wife and all this. Yeah. And he kind of accepted it. You know, he's like, damn, like I need to get my shit together. And all this stuff that was happening, I need to accept what was happening in my life and move on from it. No, that's what happens when you transform and when you rebrand yourself. A lot of like sometimes yeah. society, like for example, for you, Quake, yeah. right? I mean, I feel like people that don't really know you yeah. they think of you as, you know, diverse mentality or whatever. Like, they have put you in a box. And for you to do something else, it's like, hey, what are you doing? No, no, yeah. that's not you. Exactly. You got to be doing this over here. Yeah. So for, um, you know, you know, Kevin Gates to go out and transform himself, you yeah. know, and come out and now he's something else. It's it's all about yeah. rebranding, man. Don't uh, screw society. Like, exactly. Do man. what you need to do, yeah. man. Exactly. And people will right follow. Now. I tell people that all the time, man. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't follow what other people say and what they're, that doesn't matter. Man. But the so. thing is like, I can say, like, I'm not hood, bro. I'm not from the streets, whatever. Yeah. I had cousins who are though, right? Yeah. I had legit cousins who gang banged and all that in mm -hmm. Chicago. And they would tell me like the environment they're in, man, like it's just, if you're weak, if you're a soft target, right? I mean, you get jumped. No, that's easy. Right. That's how it is. That's so that, why. That's why that mental health yeah. thing is just like, no, nah, I, nah, I can't yeah. show somebody like, you know, exactly. a chip in my arm because right? they're going to take, they're going to exploit that. Oh, of course. No, that's yeah. even in business, that's everything. Right. Yeah, and yeah. that applies to everything. But when something bad happens, you need to accept like, hey, you know, let, for sure. You know, like you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. accept that, you know, yeah. and it just is you're human, man. You're not me. You're not <laughs> a robot, you know. Exactly. You know, like a lot of these, yeah. some of the rappers will just act like they have no emotions. It's like, no, I'm dude, you're, you're, you know, this hurts you. Accept it. Talk about it in your music. You know, be like the music is therapy for a lot of these artists. That's right. Just let it flow out and then move on. And if people clown you from that, fuck them. They're fuck not them. making millions of dollars yeah. off songs anyways. What are they doing? Fucking sitting on the couch, jerking right. off to some <laughs> shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> hey, yo, Quake, there's something you said today. Yeah. And uh, it was about like uh, how like, you know, you have a rapper and the most important like step in producing music is getting a, an engineer. Yes. And yeah. how that engineer ends up being your therapist in a way. It's exactly. crazy. He listens yeah. to your lyrics. Yes. You know, he knows what you're going through. It's he crazy. knows everything. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I never thought of it that yeah, way. Yeah, that he's your therapist. Like, yeah. so, so my engineer, when I was doing music, yeah. everything that I would write and I would record, he yeah. would hear. Yeah. And I'd be like, take this out because I don't want this, you know. But he would know that's what I said. And he knows. That's a, like Drake's producer, 40. 
Drake's probably said some crazy things yeah. that he never let release, but he mm-hmm. he knows it because he was there. You know, that's 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 a beautiful thing of an engineer and producer. I mean, an engineer and a rapper. You need those. The relationship needs to be there in order for the music to succeed and become the biggest thing. Eminem and Dr. Dre. Eminem, Dr. Dre was like Eminem said some crazy shit, yeah. like crazy yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> so he was like, man, he's like, I don't know if you should let this one fly, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, so that, like that's. Yeah, so that's why I would love to interview engineers too because yeah, man, the stuff that they would hear and stuff probably is like totally different. I'm, I'm sure they want to expose everything of it because that's personal yeah. things, but they're um, the unsung heroes, bro. Yeah, so they're <laughs> basically it. the therapist for yeah. the rapper, you know. So, absolutely, um, you need that, you know. What I mean, that's why whenever new artists ask me, if you're a new artist and you're asking me how to get your music on and stuff, I always say get an engineer that vibes with you, that respects you, that loves you know who you are as a person. And then that's when the best quality music comes out. Mm. So that's 100% important. So I'm glad you brought that up. I totally forgot about that. Um, you guys want to go to the next topic? Uh, Kanye West. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you wanted to go off on this. I so mean, let me let me go over the article right, quick. Right, ahead, and then, yeah. Kanye. So Kanye West, man, he's getting sued for a million dollars. Yeah. One million. Can I say something, my bro? Is this confirmed? Like, is this legit? You know, like. I'm looking. I mean, right now, this. Uh, the blast, which is a pretty pretty reliable source, okay. has reported it. There's no, let me see. It's like this, just, it's going through court right now, or right? it's going through litigation, and it's it's a it's the process is on the way. I think so. Let me see. Let me read the article yeah, yeah. and see. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Kanye is waiting the results of today's presidential election. I don't know why that even matters. He only got like sixty thousand votes, but he's also having to deal with a new class action lawsuit. There you mm-hmm. go. Filed against wow. him by workers for his Kanye West. I don't even know how to pronounce this. New Jibazanar opera. I don't know what the f- I don't know how or to pronounce it. Bougie ass name. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so watch according, it mean, watch it mean something like super. Like yeah, some important. crazy yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> according to legal documents obtained by the Blast, Kanye West and Live Nation are being sued by a group of workers who helped with his live musical production called at the Hollywood Bowl. In a lawsuit, in the lawsuit, a hair assistant who worked on the production claims she is owed unpaid wages, continuing wages, damages, civil penalties statutory penalties and attorney's fees and costs after her day rate along with other fees were paid late and they were charged for getting their checks you get charged for getting a check yeah if if <laughs> i i used to work for a company i'm not gonna say who yeah but sometimes when when you get a check mm. okay they write you a check that's mm. your your payment you know yeah. let's say you get a thousand a week or whatever sure. that's your check you go deposit it mm. if they don't have the money the funds it gets uh, insufficient funds. So the bank will charge you thirty dollars. So you, you got charged for thirty dollars. Yeah, that's not even your example. fault. Like Yeah. It's fuck? not even your fault. Like you're just depositing your check for what so, you work for. So you're my boss. Yeah. You, you gave me a check, right? And it bounces. It, so <laughs> I, I deposit in my in, in my in my bank. Correct. Right? It bounces. Yep. I get hit. Yeah. You have to pay thirty oh, bucks. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, that's so a you, fucked you, up. So you just went negative thirty dollars. <laughs> For de- that's not nah, for depositing deuces, check. bro. I'm out. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's you know, crazy. No, Kanye is a it happens a lot, man. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, Let me go over the. Um, it's crazy. She claims they failed to properly compensate the hair assistant and many dozens of other persons who perform services on the production, including the background actors performing as audience members. Let me see. Scroll down. See the details. In the documents, the Yeezy founder was accused, along with other defendants, of failing to provide pay stubs, failing to pay minimum wage and overtime for the event. The group suing is seeking at least $1 million for what they believe to be issues with how they were treated and because the defendants oversaw, controlled, and ran the production and aggrieved, aggrieved, yeah, the employees worked many hours on the production and were no timely paid for their work or paid at all. Damn. So Damn. that's fucked make, up. How yeah. long do you think this was going on? I don't know. What's God, the time period? Yeah, God knows yeah, like how many million shows dollars he did. Uh, exactly, yeah, brother. You know? He did the opera so thing. These um, people are getting paid thousands yeah. per, t- like every sure. time they, you know, they, they perform, they perform yeah. thousands. So now you have, let's say like 10 people doing, sure. you know, yeah. one's yeah, a drummer, one's yeah. this, one's For that. Sure. Kanye, you're, 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 yeah. you're a billionaire, Kanye. But sometimes it's, it's just, it, it, it could be your accounting or something. You know, they forgot to transfer funds into that account, the checks bounced or, you know, I, uh, yeah, some, Sometimes yeah. it's just poor management, you know, uh, just not, he's not staying on Yeah, top since of Kanye is the figure, he's going to get the blame because he's a, the name. Ex- exactly. You know? but, but Kanye needs to make no, sure no, no, no. because it's he, his name. He, exactly. He bro. Needs no, to no, make he sure. need, he's the top guy. Exactly. You know? It happens. And yeah. I was going to ask you, man, you're a business yeah. owner, right? I was going to ask you, like, what's that indication, man? You know, if you can't pay your employees, what does that mean about the organization? What happens? Like, 
if something, I mean, I feel like a million dollars meant something big screwed up. Like that's not something like, ah, I forgot a payment here and there. No, like you're, I feel like the whole operation is called the question. Well, you know? they're suing I mean, for a million. We don't know if, if oh, Kanye well, didn't yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a it could be like a hundred thousand, which is still a lot of money. Say, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know, I, I could like take a hundred thousand right now. That's that could be lawyer <laughs> fees. <laughs> they could be, you know, uh, oh, so see, many things. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah they said they said lawyer fees and late late fees and late fees, production because uh, they have to rent out. You that's right. So like all equipment, you know, God knows. Yeah. What do you think that does to his organization though, man? Donda. Like, or any of you think he's in the gap? Like, doesn't that break down, like, trust and morale, man? Like It does. It really does. It's your integrity, bro. If you yeah, can't pay, like... And really sadly, does. sadly, in yeah. America, if you're black and you don't pay, you get punished uh, punished true, way bro. more it's if you don't true, pay. Bro. You know, if it's a white bro, person that doesn't pay... Let me say something They, they get away bro. with it. It's like, ah, yeah. oh, you know, he just didn't have funds, yeah. No, that's exactly it, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, when the whole Black Lives Matter was going off and whatnot, you know, there's yeah. a lot of people saying, like, all lives matter and this matter. And blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. I'm an Arab, bro, right? I'm Palestinian. Yeah. Okay? So... I can tell you, even if in my own minority group, going to Chicago, especially the older generations, you know, mm. shout out to Bridgeview, bro. Like, you know, some some older Arabs, bro, they look down at black people, you know. Yeah. So I see that within my own community. Yeah. We're like, even in, we're all minorities. Exactly. But even, you know, Arabs, you know, like some some older Arabs, and you know, where yeah. like my in my community look down on them. Yeah. So I can recognize like where Black Lives Matter is coming from, mm -hmm. like, and I support it absolutely, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. It's like it doesn't. It's about right. time, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. You know, to speak up and whatnot. I. I lived in Minneapolis for a couple of years. I have a couple of Ethiopian friends, bro. I got some, you know, Somalian friends. Yeah. All, you know what I mean, <laughs> bro? Their yeah. African parents, bro, straight from Africa, look down at black people, yeah, at yeah. the black American. Yeah. I was out in Oxford, right? Uh -huh. One of my friends at the time, uh, shout out to Dr. Halawa, Abu Halawa, I should say. Um, you know, I'm at Oxford. We're sitting down, and I see uh, two Africans, Nigerians. You know, I see them mm -hmm. at Oxford, and Oxford's a very like kind of elite school for academics and whatnot. Yeah. And when I see him, I got happy, man. I was like, damn, hell yeah. Like, you know, it's about time. Let's, you know, Africans, you know, step up and, you know, finally get what they deserve, right? Yeah. Because they've been overexploited for so long. Oh, yeah. And so as I'm talking to them, bro, bro, they were talking shit about the African, like the black African-American, you know? That's crazy. Man. And that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. like, dude, it, it blew my mind. Yeah, that's So insane. like when it comes down to like Black Lives Matter, man, and like yeah. it's it's real, bro. Like they, no, I, mean, it's, no, it's, no. It's, I don't know how. Like, you know, I can see the average white person in America, like, they don't see that. Yeah. No, like, they don't. They don't. They like, have no idea. They yeah. have no the idea. Discrimination is clear. I mean, like I said, I oh. see, I've talked to some of my Hispanic friends, but they say the same thing. Yeah. You know, like, it's just, no, man, it's, it's all bull crap. It's, we're all human beings, man. We're all individuals. Like, there's nobody better just because I was exactly. born with a certain, exactly, like. Exactly, man. So that's what I'm saying. Kanye West would face more repercussions yeah, exactly. for this than exactly. a regular yeah. billionaire white person. You know, if you were to do this, it's they'd be sick, like, bro. Yeah. oh, you know, it was some paperwork that got wrong, you know, yeah, they would yeah, give yeah. excuses as yeah. to why it happened. But for Kanye, it'd be like, nope, Kanye's a bad person, yeah. pay people, you know, and that's how yeah, it is. It's straight up, man. That's, yeah. yeah. That's Especially at that level, by the way, the CEO. Oh, yeah. He, no. like, Kanye, yeah, whatever you think about him, he broke yeah. a ceiling. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, you can't take so anything he, away yeah. from that, you know. There's a verse, sorry, my bad. Like, there's a verse <laughs> by uh, Jay-Z and Kanye. I think, I think Jay-Z, this is uh, Murder to Excellence off the Watch the Throne. Yeah. 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 Towards the end, uh, Kanye, Jay-Z's like, uh, I'm all dressed up and I got nowhere to go. Yeah. And then Connie comes in with like, you know what, man, we're all dressed up and we got nowhere to go, but I'm going to yeah. take it to the T.O.P. Like, like yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's Kanye 100 percent yeah. how he is as a person. So, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we don't know what happened in the situation. They right. sued, you know, for a million. Yeah, it could have been, you know, like he said, business, p bad paperwork happens. Things mm -hmm. happen yeah. where people yeah, don't get paid. Bro, a million dollars. I'm sorry. It's something. I mean, yeah, that's some a, could that's have a huge oversight. No, no. Yeah. I mean, like I said, yeah, you're yeah, a business yeah, owner, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Something but like, yeah, I, we don't know the details of, you know? Yeah. We have no idea. So, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully that gets resolved. Um, Kanye, you know, you're a billionaire, so make sure you do good by people. Um, you're, you know, he, you're That's mentioning the important. preaching of the, the, um, him being a church person and preaching, you know, morally, yeah. you know, you're supposed to pay your people morally. <laughs> Bro, <you know? laughs> I went off yeah. earlier, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Morally this guy's acting like he wants to be like Christ-like and that's fine, bro. Yeah. Good for you. No, like, no, go you ahead. Know, yeah. That's fine. Like, you know, you can be Christ-like, you can want to be better. I mean, that's, that's fine, man. He has a lot of good qualities, right? Exactly. I'm Muslim. So, yeah. you know, within Islam, like we believe in, you know, Jesus, we believe in his miracles, we, you know, we believe in his right. like morals and you mm -hmm. want to immunate like a person like that. Yeah. But then to go around like preach all these things and then not and then not know. pay like you know in Islam there's a saying I think I was telling yeah, you earlier like how. where like uh, you know it's a, it's a hadith from the Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. where you have to pay you know a, your laborer before the sweat on his forehead dries out like yeah, that's how quick that's you crazy, have to give yeah. him the money you know yeah. and for him to like wait for a million that's just I mean that's wrong you know that's sinful too no that is no yeah, I mean yeah. like these people do 
hard work, you know. Because you're, you're entrusted to these employees, man. Yeah. They look up to you. Like, I mean, yeah. They need to support their families. They got Correct. kids. They got, yeah. you know. That's like, what I was just about to say. Yeah. yeah but it's, it's, not, it's not a joke. Yeah. They need to eat. Oh. Yep. It's, it's crazy. Yep. And if for you to act like all, all you know, holy yeah. and all, you know, almighty and whatnot, it's just, mm-hmm. it's hypocritical for me. That is, yeah. That's, I mean, it's crazy, man. Crazy shit. So. You don't know what somebody's going to Again, I mean, like, we're just using the information. What, yeah, we we're, yeah, we're just talking yeah, off, based yeah. off the information we read here. You know, the documents are submitted. A lawsuit was filed. Yeah. We're just going off this. Who knows? Kanye could have had put a, paid them more than $1 that's million. Right, that's right. And something yeah, happened. Exactly. You know, yeah, so yeah. who knows? I don't yeah. know. But this is just all based off this information. So the next thing uh, I want to talk about, uh, Lloyd Banks, man. Uh <laughs> Lloyd too Banks to and Too Fresh Smooth to Stutter, gutter. PLK. Um, yeah. So Banks goes on Twitter, you know, occasionally, right? Um, and he 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 replies to fans, which is cool of him. You know, uh, I appreciate that that Banks does that. Most I like, rap- yeah, I like when artists do that. Yeah, most yeah. rappers sometimes don't. They're, they think they're too cool, you know, yeah, to yeah. do that. So um, a fan tweets him, and this is what the fan says. Um, he's responding. Let me see the actual full thread of tweets so I don't get anything misconstrued here. Um the guy tweets, Lloyd Banks really could be one of the greatest rappers of all time. I've said that in the What Happened to Lloyd Banks video, which got a million views. Shout out to Banks. I boosted your streams, <laughs> yeah, and you unfollowed Banks. me, but it's all good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, well, I'll, I'll go into okay, that. Ours, I need to hear this. Yeah, I'm so. pissed about that. Uh, yeah. Um, he tweets, yeah, Lloyd Banks really could be one of the greatest rappers of all time. Banks responds, wait, what? LOL, which is kind of a weird response, but he says, this is in no way was a sneak diss or questioning your own legacy. I just feel we as fans got shortchanged of what, what could have been with your word play on and off beats, in my opinion. With that being said, you're forever top five lyricist in my book. That's respectable. Banks says, the question is, how many albums, projects, mixtapes does it take to be one of the greatest in your opinion? That's a good question. Uh, the fans ask, like, who are you bumping, this and that. And then Banks, someone says Banks can still rap circles around 90% of the rap game. Banks corrects him and says 99% of the rap game. Wow. Yeah, so oh, Banks is Banks. on that shit. Yeah. No, for me, I did a What Happened to a Banks video. Banks is one of the best rappers. I'm willing to put my money. I told you, I said, my, I'm willing to put my house on that shit. I'm willing to put my car, everything. Everything that Banks can out rap. Quite a few rappers, man. There's only a few that I can think of that he can't out rap. And it's very, very slim. If people are going to ask, you know, Quake, which ones do you think it is? It, um, it's a, it's a great question. I mean, I yeah, no, no, he's you know, he's up there, man. To me, he's. I said in the What Happened to Banks video, uh, who are the rappers? I think um, maybe Eminem can out rap him. Maybe even Kanye said what he was top. Yeah, five. top five all time. Yeah. Um, you know when he, when he made a song with Good Music, it was con- it was started up with Lloyd Banks. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. that yeah, was Lloyd Banks' track. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. bro. That was, and he, and he hopped not, on Christian Dior flow and washed. Kanye, all them people on one track. I think that was Kanye's hardest verse. Yeah. His, his hardest fucking... Because like, he had to go hard because it's yeah, Banks. Yeah, because it's Banks. That's what I'm saying. Lloyd like Banks. So yeah. the question Banks was asking, this is a great question I'm going to ask you guys, see what you guys think. Um, How many albums, projects, mixtapes does it take to be one of the greatest, in your opinion? So whoever wants to, whoever wants to start? I mean, <laughs> I mean, what I would think is like, okay... Hip-hop you need to have a huge catalog, I would assume, to me. That's what for I would sure. Say. Like, I mean, yeah, I feel definitely. like uh, you have... Hip-hop has been like going on for like a good... like you know, 20 years so far, you know, early 90s, you can say it started really popping off and it's became the number one genre of music. I mean, hip hop is so influential now. It's the I mean, number it's, one, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's worldwide. Yeah. And I think it's, yeah. but it goes, it's going to come down at a certain point, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like when we become senior citizens, maybe it'll be something new, but, um, so with that being said, at this moment, I think it depends on the moment you're in because now we have a lot of legends in the game. Yeah. So at this yeah. moment, I think you would have to have three solid albums. That's a good If not, five. Yeah, like yeah. five will get you over the top, no questions yeah. asked. Three, you can debate. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's good. a good that's a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About what, what are you thinking? I think it also depends on the quality of music, man. That's what I'm saying. You good know? albums, like yeah, that. good albums. Um, Mixtapes doesn't matter. Projects. Y- you, you guys thinking classics or you guys thinking just great albums? No, no, you gotta have some. You gotta have a classic. You have at least yeah. one classic. Yeah, you think? I think one 100%. classic, and he does. And that, Lloyd Banks does. I categorize classics as not being able to skip over in a single track. That's exactly. A so, yep. Yeah, that's hard to yeah, do. Yeah, that's very hard. If there's only like a 2014, few tracks. <laughs> Forest Hill Drive. Yeah, J. that's... J. Cole, that's bro, that, I like Born Center. Born, oh, yeah, that's Born a, Center. That's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is. Oh. But um, yeah, I mean, I think you got to have three or five, man. So Banks, let me let me break it down how much he has. He has three albums, uh-huh. solidified, Hunger for More, Rotten Apple, Hunger yeah. for More 2. Yep. Mixtapes, he's got, I think, well over 10, 100%. Probably 15, I'm almost willing to bet. I can go look them up right now, but I know it's around 10 to 15. And then 
Um, what else the guy mentioned? He mentioned, uh, let me see here. He mentioned project slash mix of same shit. So yeah. So albums, mixtapes. He has 16 three albums. mixtapes. So yeah, I was, I was close. 10 yeah. to 15. So 16 mixtapes. So yeah, 16 yeah. mixtapes, three, three albums. albums. Yep. Well, let me say this to you. I'm going to ask yeah. you a question. Yeah. I mean, we talk about, you know, what, what does it take to be successful or legendary, right? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you like, you know, do you think that's all it takes is just good albums or classics? Do you think there's more to that formula? Like maybe influential, like right now, Lloyd Banks, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's able to influence a lot of people. I don't think a lot of younger generation, like the, a lot of the younger generation know about him. That's the problem. And that's so like exactly why people are tweeting him that. That's why he's questioning that. Like because when you say he's 99% better, yeah. you know. No, no, ly no, the lyric, no, I know what you're saying. You're saying influence, right? Yeah, that's what I, I think that's a part. Of, no, what I'm saying is that that's part of the Yeah, formula. no, that, that is, yeah, 100%. Because Lil Wayne, right now, he might not be the greatest rapper, but his influence was so big that he's sparked so many rappers. Eminem can go out for like three years and not do nothing. Yeah. Come back, you know, five years later. Still kill Boom, drop something, people rap. will listen. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like that's, that's, that's how you know you're a legend. Yeah, you know? that's, yeah. So Banks, that's, that's, that's why 50 was going at Banks because he doesn't, doesn't step out there as much as mm. he's supposed to. And Banks doesn't shoot what? a lot of music videos. He's what is he doing right now? Like, how no, he, he hasn't released anything. So he's what is released, he doing? For, like, how is he making money? Like, he released merchandise right now. So, I mean, that, it's selling. I see, I see people yeah, buying left people and right. Buying, bro, I remember no, back in the day, G Unit was a thing. Like, yeah, like, the clothing, <laughs> man. Bro. Yeah, I, I, we could barely find any at yeah. the time. By the time yeah, we got it, so. Man. But I think I, for me, Banks lyrically is one of the best I've ever heard in my life. Um, and I, I've listened to like so many rappers that over Lupe. Lupe is up there. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's yeah. there's Banks, there's Lupe, there's a few that like Banks would compete with like, sure. bar for bar. I don't know who would win. You know, that's that's up for grabs. But Banks is like he when he says 99, percent it's 100. percent Fabulous is up there too, man. Nah, Fabulous has some corny bars. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but he's he's, he's he has good, here man. and there. But I don't look I don't at Fabulous as that. I don't. Yeah, you're saying but, like conscious rapper, like like kind of like a more of a, like a Kendrick Lamar type of rapper. I mean, Banks is not really conscious, yeah, but he not. has those. He he's the punchline king. He created yeah. punchlines. That's what Wayne PLK. took and ran with. Word. He created punchlines. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Well, let me I go never, over some. Bro, my, I never thought of it. Yeah, yeah he yeah, created yeah. punchlines. Yeah. I but think he calls himself PLK. Yeah, punchline king. Yep. So let me let me look up. Let me let me it's, find some punchlines. Crazy, Banks. Bro, there's beast. levels to this shit. Meek yeah, there's levels to this shit, young boy. Yeah, he had a few insane punchlines, man. Some of the some of the craziest punchlines. But Lloyd Banks could have been something huge, man. If he just would have took his career more serious and dropped, you know, more albums mm. instead of just like stop. Like as soon as Fifty put G Unit together, and then you know, here comes a couple mixtapes, blah blah blah. I think they dropped uh, an album, mm. and then they just stopped. You know, I mean, how many songs has Lloyd Banks been featured on, or you know, had other people like other famous? Rappers That's another stopped? problem with G like Unit never, is is yeah. Fifty never let them. Well, I mean, he not that he didn't let no, them. I don't think they just did, didn't. Yeah. They just didn't expand outside yeah, of G yeah, Unit. Exactly. You know, Buck had like Ti, Jeezy, all exactly. that. He expanded. Yeah. But Banks was like more G Unit house base and barely did like. You can't do you know, that. Man. All the second album had quite a few features. Though. The third album had a lot though. Yeah. Like Kanye, Swiss That's Beats, right. all yeah. these Akon. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, yeah, he expanded off that. But yeah, he hasn't been featured on other artist yeah. tracks. That's yeah. That's another thing too. You know, that's. But Banks, I mean. It, he works on his own terms and 50's kind of accepted that it's just like whatever but yeah. you can't complain when he mm -hmm. goes on Twitter and complains like that he's like you know I'm this I'm that you're doing it to yourself man you gotta release more content people want content it just is what it is yeah. you know and he unfollowed me because <laughs> I he's been following me I made the video a million views you know I'm sure he saw it blah 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 he unfollowed me because I posted a video of Rick Ross like roasting Banks he was like dosing him like joking around all I said was Rick Ross Send shots at banks or something like that too, and he unfollowed me for that. I was like, "That's not." But yeah, but you're not being a troll about it. You're I'm not. Just, no, yeah, I just said he sent. Is, yeah. He blocked me. He for blocked him. He got him. blocked. He's my favorite rapper. <laughs> I cried for crazy. one week. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like banks, I think ten pounds of tears. Yeah, bro. <laughs> banks I just fed takes my whole it. Garden. <laughs> banks just takes days. it too serious, man. He takes it a little too serious when people can treat him, which I understand because he loves. He has a passion for what he does. Like he's very passionate about that. When you get critiqued about, it, you can take it personal sometimes, you know. So, yeah, you man, know. I, the scoreboard at that point. If you have enough points up, like let the people talk. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And then people, people also say like he's under the shadow of Fifty, and like they're like you know. I think I personally think that I don't think he ever you know overcame that shadow, bro. Yeah, but Fifty Banks 50, the 50, best. Fifty was a giant, bro. Yeah. No, Fifty was like I didn't want to be the, the superstar. He was like I wanted to be guy, the guy behind the scenes, taking care of the business. 
He's I'm like, I want to one of. Now you can't say you can't make an album like Get Rich Die Trying and not be. <laughs> Come on, bro. I know, but I he mean, was like, that, was defined a, that defined a whole like, generation know. of sound. Bro. Yeah, what he wanted to do though, but he wanted to release that, put them on, and then lay back, and work behind the scenes right. in the business. That's what he wanted to do. But then he had to keep carrying it, yeah. and he was like, "Damn, like I, I gave these guys." He was featured on all their shit, which mm. the hottest rapper at the time. He wasn't working with other artists; he was just working in house and put it pushing them out. Banks did three million copies. Buck did two million. Game did six million because mm. he gave Game all these hits for free. Like, you know, Game would have been huge if he would stay with you. Do you think uh, if Fifty Cent would have beat Kanye back in the day? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah. What if? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Like, do you think? No, it was shifted hip hop. Do you think like Lloyd Banks would have been bigger because at that point like, people would have liked that sound? Yeah. No, that's that's that's, that's a good that's a good way of looking. Like Banks Kanye really took hip hop off to like an off ramp, you know? Like, yeah, it made it like, it made it cool to be like that backpack, yeah. you know, conscious like yeah. cool. Yeah, it made that cool. Polo fucking. Yeah, uh, like yeah. <laughs> that was the style back then. Yeah. So and at 50 when he came in, it was just like people were like tired of it. They were like. Man, I'm tired of this gangsta hard acting. Because that shit was going on to the early '90s, to like you know, you know. Yeah, no, no, I mean, 50 made it cool yes, again, yeah. and then all yeah, of a sudden, the early 2000s. Yep. Yeah, all of a sudden you see these gangster rappers coming out of nowhere because 50 was popping off with that too, and then, um, and then it just became not cool. All of a yeah. sudden, people were like, "Man, we're tired of this shit. Like, what's what's next?" And then Kanye comes at the perfect time with mm-hmm. graduation, which, by the way, if I'm being 100 percent honest, graduation is a fucking good album. At the time, I was like, man, I don't know if 50's going to beat this guy. Because I was like, shit, man, this is a fucking good-ass album. Curtis was all right, but Graduation Curtis was up there. Man, Curtis. I like Curtis. Nah, Graduation. Curtis! Yeah, but some of these I Banks mean, bars I'm looking at. Um, man, Gra- man, Graduation look, had so many, like... Oh, Graduation was... Dude, <laughs> yeah. dude, to this day, Kanye West is still mixing the Can't Tell Me Nothing record. Yeah. He just, he's obsessed with that track, which I don't... Bro, like, Track is Stronger amazing. Man, The Good Life. Oh, God. You can't Tell that. Me Nothing. Oh, Big Flash, Brother. Big I, Brother was a good track, bro, too. Flashing Lights is still in my playlist. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wow. Big Brother, bro. Homecoming. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Homecoming, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, those tracks. I man. all about that. Yeah. yeah, so. Wow. 50 was up against his own label. 50 was up against the best Kanye album, potentially. <laughs> 50 was up against Jay-Z himself, too, because Jay-Z was running Def Jam at the time. Yeah. So he was pushing Kanye like crazy. So 50, it was just all 50, and Dr. Dre and Eminem were like, that's out right. of the way, nobody was helping him. So the three headed monster, bro. Yeah, the yeah. Eminem was dealing with drug problems at the That's time, right. so he couldn't do anything. Doctor Dre was just, you know, how Doctor Dre is. He doesn't really come out or say anything. So, yeah, um, yeah, it was a, yeah, it would have shifted music if it would have happened the other way around. Banks probably been way bigger than mm-hmm. what he is. Um, but H- H- HFM, I think we would have had the little Uzi Verts and the Playboy Cardis. I don't know. That's the I thing. Know, that's I don't. Crazy. Yeah, that's that's, it would have shifted. Hey, what if though, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, we got to get that talking about that. So, yeah. Shout out to Banks. Uh, I don't appreciate it. Love Banks. I want to hear some bars. Love uh-huh. you, I mean, honestly, I never knew that. Let me what? hear some like punchlines from Banks. Yeah, because I, I I literally like I, this is quite. new information. Okay, let me let me go to his most popular track. Okay. I'm so fly. Right. Um, Banks is fresh out the gutter, too smooth to stutter. The sig will melt a brother like two scoops of butter. Hey. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> before I before I leave yeah. the crib, I tell my mother I love her. Grab the burner, but she ain't concerned because he's, he's an earner. earner. My bitch lays it out real nice, nice for me to murder. murder. We fight, wake up, and fight I, like Ike and Tina Turner. Turner. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, he's got, Drop your pen, yeah, take off your <laughs> mic, and just yeah, get the fuck out. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, he has. When I heard that. He has bars. Like, yeah. Bro, I, I froze. Yeah. Damn. Let me yeah, see. He, let me see. He, he's sick. There's another. There's, there's more. Um, let me see. And it's not like a Lupe kind of like, you know. Like no, it's he's. Not, it's a different kind of He's PLK. Yeah. Simple as that, man. Punchline okay, king. Look, yeah. he says this. Even though my dollars are green, I rap for the kids that's too poor to waste eggs on Halloween. I'm getting <laughs> swallowed clean. My habits are good. Collecting all the carrots I could. Sliding from the stash spots to conceal the torture. And a good silencer to make it sound like wheel of fortune <laughs> that's fucking crazy <laughs> all this nah. careless talking because i'm traveling and flossing having a good time and you having an abortion you're a sucker for love getting married and divorced then can't even afford the batteries for your walkman <laughs> that shit is oh. crazy the way he says it though is way better than the yeah, way i say it so yeah. he's got it's, bars it's all about the delivery by yeah, the way. So, yeah so yeah Top of the yes, sir. yeah so that's the, crazy bro. the guy has bars um one of my favorites is um I put a uh, dot on your forehead like it's part of your religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, that's yeah. crazy. Like, yeah, that guy. The, remember the one uh, with the dogs? Uh, he says, uh, "Oh yeah, let me at least find kind of that." Spots on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love Lloyd Banks. <laughs> yeah. God, Lloyd Banks, I fucking love you. Yeah, uh, he guy. blocked your ass though. Yeah, that's I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> if he blocked me, I love that. That made me more happy. Yeah, he blocked me. <laughs> that he recognized <laughs> that. Yeah, he said, "Who the fuck is this Vito?" Blocked. You read your name, man. You feel a type of way. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look, Banks. Let me find. Hey, let me find it. Yeah, no, those he, bars he, are good. He's, let me find a, that. he's amazing. Bro, I'm telling you, like, 
Started Up is still like one of my top five tracks of all time. Yeah, I mean, people. Uh, yeah. I'll find that one, please. Yeah, right now, I'm about to. Yeah, 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 I have it right my here. My dogs are on a spot song. Yeah. How does it no, go? No, he's this and Rick Ross. He's got so. one that just says, Yeah. In my flow came with a tag. They running off of my swag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> Hold on. So crazy. Like, thanks. So let me see. He says this. Uh, High and hazy, shady, grimy, slimy in every way. 30 cities, 30 shooters were like the NBA. <laughs> blaze, <laughs> blaze when you want me to stop. Tough plot. Big Macs for everyone you can eat. Pound for every pound you got. And then he says, call me Lord. I don't know what I'm. Yeah, that's a crazy shit, man. That 30 cities, 30 shooters were like the NBA is so clean. I was like, damn, dude. So he has like he has like lines like yeah, that. Man. Which There's is a way. Like, that's, yeah. yeah. Just the way he says it is way better than me, too. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, it's just like, it's like King Von, man. Today, you're showing me some tracks, like, and how yeah. he's just like a storyteller, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, uh, when you can relate to, like, culture and society and, like, yeah. kind of, yeah. That's a very, yeah, he's yeah. banks unique, the beast, you know, yeah. he, He's got some good. It's a different sound. Uh, yeah. On uh, the mixtape uh, score. No, it's not that. It's Cold Corner, too. Cold man. Corner, yeah. too. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has a score track. Score, you're talking about a track. I love yeah. that track. You're talking about the track, yeah. yeah that, that's a. No, Cold Corner, too, should have been an album. Yeah, if it would have been an album. Yeah. Uh, no, he released album. he released a mixtape that sounded better than most people's albums that year. Like exactly. everybody was like, "This is the best mixtape." If, if that you year. haven't heard that mixtape, please Cold Corner go Two, yeah, check it out. Cold Make Corner it stack two. with ASAP Rocky's Cold Two, fire. Yeah, so. every track is fire. Yeah, every yeah, I'll yeah. say yeah. There's almost maybe like, two. I consider a classic the, almost. Mm. It's it's a great it's like fucking classic. out of ten, I'd give it a nine nine. I think that was like last. Major, you know, big project. Yeah, I, that's probably my favorite from him in 2011. That's when he dropped it. And he was on a roll. Like, he yeah. should have just kept going. I don't know why. It, like, 2010, he dropped the album. After that, he dropped more great, mm -hmm. amazing. And then after that, he just, like, stops. I don't know. what. It's because it's of 52, G-Unit breaking off, mm -hmm. and then all this. It's like, yeah, so I don't know. But Banks, man, you're one of the best. Uh, you know that already, so. Yeah, 17 you know. tracks on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, those, those are just a few shot. bars, man. If I went that through every, like. seven score. Goes so hard. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, so, all right. Uh, what's the next? Uh, Enough of the banks, man. Denzel Curry. Uh, this is funny. I like. I like this to talk about this because it's something interesting. Uh, Denzel Curry suggests a boxing league for rappers that don't like each other. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let's start man. a boxing league for rappers. Maybe outside, bro. Yeah. Maybe outside. <laughs> Maybe, Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's yalla. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I. I there was a show called on MTV2 called Celebrity uh, Deathmatch, mm. and it was like a cartoonish type of show, um, and they would have like rappers and celebrities just box in the ring at like a cartoon funny way, and they stopped doing that, but I feel like rappers, it would be better than all the shooting and all this crazy shit that's happening. It would be better just to take out the anger in a boxing match, and whoever wins, wins, and you know, like have you ever, have you ever had like an argument with a friend? Yeah, and I mean, you just so high yeah. all the time, bro. Yeah, you just get into you just get into an argument, y'all box, and then it's all good. So that's that's a funny idea, and I think it would do big, man. Imagine like like you said, well, what's Fat Joe and DJ Khaled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DJ Khaled, we the Fat best. Joe, bro. Yeah, Fat Joe would kill it, man. I think you Fat, think so? No, no, he can fight. Fat yeah, Joe? he's no, he's he, dude. Yes, you don't his history. Yeah, gangster yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gangster. Yeah, yeah. Him and Big L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they they scared DJ Hookin, which right. is uh yeah, yeah. uh fifties yeah. DJ. He got like kidnapped and shit. He was scared as fuck. Yeah, so Fat Joe don't play, man. I would love to see Fifty Cent in the game. Throwing that, yeah, that would be the, probably the best. The thing is, man, fight. like DJ Khaled, man, and Fat Joe, like just the the fight, like the the promotion leading up to the fight. Oh, it'd be the you, best you know, thing. DJ Khaled's gonna fucking, you know, bro. Dude, every can, every second he'd be DJ Snapchatting, Khaled, man. Yeah, dude, that, like, that we ready. got this. I'm yeah. ready. That would be the most interesting. I would love that. I think that would be interesting as fuck. Dude, how much money do you think people, how much money would you pay for a ticket? Bro, I'd pay. I, I, for a game in 50, I would pay. $100. Oh, no, a game in 50. $100, I'd pay way more than that. I, I, pay, I would pay. Great. Just, just for pay-per-view, though. View. I'm talking about in person. Oh, no, no, no. In person, no, no, no. bro. Oh, no, no, in, in person, person, I'd pay like two, three thousand dollars That's exactly. Yeah, I would pay thousands. I don't give a shit. For the game? Yeah. And 50? And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What's up? I'm, I'm, I'm getting front row seat. I'm I'm I want blood splatter. I'm, 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 I'm selling my car. I'm selling my car. I'm selling my car. I'm selling my car. I'm going bankrupt, that's man. Just, dude, yeah. That's hip hop history bank. right there. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. 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 And then Gu about. Gucci Man Jeezy. <laughs> oh, yeah. my money's on Jeezy though. Uh, no, nah, nah, Gucci, my money's Gucci, on Gucci. Nah, bro, come on. I love Jeezy. Come on, man. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci. My presence, bro. Gucci, hey, bro. Gucci shot some, killed somebody, man. 
That's gangster. Man. Don't get no, at no, that no, point. No, no, no. And he's exactly. working out. He's got yeah, he's yeah, he got healthy. Yeah. He's in shape. Mental health, bro. He no, that's, that's no. But I say this, the Jeezy, bro. Like I no Jeezy, Jeezy got. You don't too, know what he did, bro. You know that's true. Yeah, we don't. I put know. my money on him, man. Yeah. He's the he's the wild card. No, it would be a good fight. He's a wild card. <laughs> you know, I don't. That's a good one. Yeah, that's and I would like to see Busta Rhymes and LL Cool J. They both big motherfuckers. Yeah, they are, and they're they're around the same generation almost. Yeah, about same age. Bro, I know what I really want to see. Pusha T and Birdman. <laughs> yeah, that would be no, that, no, because Pusha T has been dissing Bird. Yeah. That'd be funny as I mean, fuck. Yeah, that would be. Man, that would don't be fuck funny. with my Birdman, man. Nah, nah, Bird. man. I'm jumping in that shit. <laughs> my money's not Birdman. Pusha I got your back. Oh, that. shout out to Young Money Cash. Yeah, whatever, shout out. Right? No, yeah, Birdman is like, great. One of the greatest businessmen of bro, all yeah, time. You, man. you gotta respect. Yeah, you gotta respect. Stun exactly. a Put some respect on it, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. But my money's on Pusha T, bro. Yeah, Pusha T, man. Pusha T's been. I don't care. My money's on Birdman. I ain't never letting Birdman down. You know what? You know what happened? There's uh when when Pusha T was doing an interview with Joe Budden. He's so he's so programmed in the street stuff that when he was talking about uh, doing something to somebody, he did like a gun hand motion. You know when they yeah. load the clip, that's how programmed he is from the streets. And Joe Budden caught it. He's like, "Yo, he's still like in that mentality of like that street because he's been sure, in that, he's done yeah, that." That's crazy. So yeah, man. that's it's like a, a muscle like reaction, like just to to load the clip in the gun. Like when he's talking about, "Let's go, let's go do it." I mean, think about you it, know? Birdman. He he's he's literally like. He had the insight to find so many other rappers. Yeah, no, he's a, yeah, Birdman is, is like, one of the best. The guy built in it. Then again, it's uh, slim, uh, though. Uh, uh, people that, don't, hold people on. Don't forget, they forget Take about Birdman that. out. Put Drake in there. Push in nah, Drake. Bro, come, mean, on, man. Come, nah, on, nah. come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. What's Come on, man. I feel like, yeah. Drake would get smoked. Bro. Yeah, Drake. It doesn't matter. I want to see him get smoked, It's a bloodbath, man. It's Come on, man. Drake, throw some hands. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> the sound yeah. effects, yeah. I mean, yeah. I would pay to see that though. Yeah, no, I, I, mean, I, <laughs> dog, I, I pay. You know what I pay the I'll most? Twenty five dollars. You know what I pay the most? See, getting six six nine, getting his ass whooped. I <laughs> pay whatever the fuck. Yo, get 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 hey, like the. Yeah. I'm selling my house. Oh, 100 percent. I'm going bankrupt. Well, this, see that. Let's start a fundraiser right now. I bro. swear, start man. A fund yeah. Guys, yeah. fundraiser. Let's see how much fund me can to fuck, fight. You know? Oh, oh, yeah. If y'all can fund this, we're gonna start a GoFundMe. Six nine, get his ass whooped. I'll sell the whole ring. By who? Huh? By who? Little Dirk? Little Dirk, man. Little Dirk. Yeah. Just, yeah. just yeah. off that oh, disrespectful yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. You get your ass well. Just off that, bro. You gotta. I'm pulling his hair. <laughs> <laughs> like the Chucky doll oh, swinging him yeah. around. <laughs> like a Chucky doll. That's just yeah, funny. That's crazy. Like, yeah. yeah that is, that would Six be nine fun. would be, yeah. That, I that's, think we're getting to. Who else are we? Huh. Um, I mean, who else would like really be a good matchup? Good matchup? You no, know why? You know what I'm thinking? Akon, man. So, something about Akon. He, he got that. Yeah. Right? I oh, think they he, better, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think, think he would. He would do something. Yeah, yeah, I think, Kevin yeah. Gates too. Kevin Gates. Kevin is, Gates. Yeah. He's gotten yeah. built. I wouldn't want to go up against Kevin. Gates. Oh yeah, he's crazy. Nah, nah, okay. nah, nah. Yeah. Has what about what about for the younger generation? Who would you oh, want to younger, see? bro. Yeah. Who would you want to see? Like like Chief Keef, Lil Durk. Uh, hey, Lil Uzi Vert's Playboy Cardi. Yeah, I was about to say that. That would be funny as What the hell? My mind was on Playboy though. Yeah, uh, Lil is he pretty small though. I mean, but he, he looks like he's feisty. You can, you know, he's, little, he's okay. raised in Philly, bro. Yeah. Philly's, you know, that's some hard joke, shit. Bro. You know, he's not. He jokes around like that, but he's been. He's in the, the trenches with that shit. He's been in there. Lil he's Uzi just Bert? a cool person. Yeah. What about <laughs> Playboy? Where's Playboy? I don't even know where Playboy Cardi's from. He's from LA, bro. LA. If I wanted, I maybe. Bro. Let me see. I'm about to I'm check because I'm, I'm not sure about that. If Lil Uzi from Philly and this guy's like from a. No, he's from Atlanta. Is it from Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. Oh, oh, that's right. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't even know that shit. Either, that's bro. something I found out right now. But yeah, I would <laughs> like to see that in those two too. That would be you know, crazy. some people like they follow rappers, but then they follow celebrities where like they, they know their who they they're going out with and what. They're yeah, doing. that's too much. That's what, 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 I just respect hold, the music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know? huh. what, you, what about females? Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. That's a classic. Oh my god, that's oh, it. Has to. That's it. That's it. Lil Kim and Foxy Brown too. Oh, oh man, they had beef. They had real street beef. Like Kim. there's shootouts happen, bro. Now yeah. uh, no, <laughs> let's let's combine them. Yeah. Make the stallion. Bro. Oh yeah, that would oh, be insane. Tory Lanez. Yeah, that would. Be oh, he <laughs> said yeah. Tory Lanez. Oh man, stop, that would be insane. Stop. Yeah, that would oh, be insane. Man, that would be nasty. Um, <laughs> yeah, females would be the probably the, the it'd be even more. Oh, that's your money. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, boom, boom, like it'd <laughs> yeah. be over, man. So <laughs> I bet you there's some female rappers would beat the shit out of some guys. Bro. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, that would be some females don't, whooping some on some tough guys. ass like. Oh, don't be yeah. sleeping on females. No, yeah, no, don't no, be no, sleeping no, on yeah. female, man. Shit. Oh, or drag you like I a got my ass whooped by a female. Ronnie, Ronnie Rossi, bro. Who? Ronnie Rossi. I don't know the fuck that is. Ronnie Rossi. Ronda Rossi. Ronda, no, yeah. Ronda Rousey, bro. Rousey. Rousey. Yeah. Oh, you can How are you? I speak English the first time
Really? Yeah, it's called Ronda Rousey. Really? And I swear that that's how he pronounces it. Maybe I'm getting it all mixed up. Oh shit! But you see, it's Rousey. Rousey, yeah, Ronda. Oh, I, that's what I remember. Man. Let me see. Shit, Ronda. I'm not sure, man. And potato, potato, whatever. Yeah, R O U S E Y. So that Rousey? sounds like Rousey. That sounds oh, yeah. like Rousey to me. Mm. Who else would be interesting? Mm. What about like uh, Rick Ross, man? I want to see Rick Ross in the ring. I want Rosie. Fifty Cent. I want to see Fifty Cent. Shit out of Rick Ross. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, about. you officer. Yeah. So. That would be interesting. I think Rick Ross would man would just get on top of you and sit on you, bro. That's it. Bro. Yeah, that's a wrap. Nah, he's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, wing stop sitting on I top. Mean, who would Little Wing go against? <laughs> Weezy, baby. Um, his 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 evil clone Tiger. at the time, Young Thug. You think? Yeah, he was <laughs> the evil clone at the time. Because yeah. you remember he took the name Carter, Barter yeah. Six? Yeah, and he had problems oh, with Wayne. So yeah. that would be like an evil clone of like that's a literally an offspring of Lil Wayne, is Young Thug. That's an offspring of Wayne Weezy, so that would be true. interesting. Even though they don't have beef. Not, young hey, well, <laughs> by the way, I want to clarify: we're not insinuating beef. We're just saying, yeah, yeah, it'll be, yeah, it's uh, hypothetical. yeah it's just hypothetical. Joke. Yeah, yeah, we're not insinuating beef between these. We're rappers. just shooting shit right now. That's yeah, exactly. Crazy, uh, <laughs> that, Honestly, so. bro, I love all of them. Bro. Yeah, no, they're all like all of them are great, man. Yeah. Um, it just it would be great entertainment instead yeah. of violence and uh, shooting at clubs. You know, if you guys have problems, go in the ring and settle it. You know, yeah. uh, do charity if you want to take that money, give it to charity. That would yeah. be a great cause too. We case. almost had that happen. Remember when Soldier Boy and right. Soldier Boy and who else was it? Chris Brown? Something. Oh yeah, yeah Soldier Boy so. and Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. Yeah, and yeah. Floyd was supposed to set it up. That's like right. that would have been interesting, man. Like that would have been cool. And the money is supposed to get donated, like, mm -hmm. and it never happened. So Soldier Boy, man, come on, man. <laughs> Soldier Boy, tell him. Tell <laughs> so, so tell yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soldier Boy, tell. yeah, so, so tell, tell him. him. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah uh, that would be the craziest shit to happen. But um, man, let's see like what people think about this, bro. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, some people are listening to audio. But type if you in watch your it, comments. yeah, if you watch it on YouTube, the video version, type in the comments who you would like to see in a fight and why. I would like to see. Bro, I, I want to see this. Yeah, I want yeah, the why. I would love yeah. To see this. yeah, so I want the That's why right. on that. But I wanted to tell the story about the Lil Wayne Dubai. Uh, yeah, let crazy. me hear this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Lil Wayne Dubai. Okay, so Lil Wayne got on Drink Champs like a whole two, two and a half hour, three hour, because I was doing some uh, research on him. So um, he has a show set up in Dubai, right? And while when he arrives like in his private jet, whatever, and he has problems going through clearance. This is Lil Wayne, right? Has problems going through clearance. You mean like immigration? Yeah, like whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't clearance. know if it's immigration, just, yeah, but just yeah, yeah, they yeah. had to check his bags, and make sure he was. Oh, where, where, yeah. yeah. So he had problems going yeah. through that. And mind Secure. you, the 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 embassy, like the guy, the prince or whoever it is, yeah. the top power guy, invited Lil Wayne to do sure. a concert, and they were paying him like a million dollars yeah, for one yeah. show. So he has problems going through clearance, and Lil Wayne gets pissed. He's like, "Man, what? Like, what the fuck? I'm Lil Wayne. Like, you know, your whole embassy invited me. Like, what yeah. is going on?" So he goes back in his airplane. He's like, "Man." We're getting the hell up out of here. I don't care. I'm not yeah. going to stay here. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to leave. If you guys don't figure this out. The the lady the lady calls, right? Mm. Calls the clearance, or the calls the embassy. And she's like, you know, this is, I don't know who this guy is, Little Wayne, this and that. You know, who, like, is he supposed to just go through? And the guy's like, he gets pissed. The prince or whatever, or whatever, like the king, he's like, what the fuck? Like, you know, this is Lil Wayne. Like, are you guys stupid? Like, this is the, I invited this guy here and you're making a dis, Yo. he was going off. Lil Wayne was like pissed in his plane because he was like, what the fuck? I mean, I can't it's disrespectful, even... right? Yeah. So he's like, you guys invite me here yeah. and I can't even come through. So the guy, the prince comes, he immediately makes it there. Pissed, wow. right? He goes to Lil Wayne's plane. He's like, I'm so sorry, man. You know, blah, blah, blah. Come through here. All the people that are at the, the airplane, he's like, they're all standing up like straight and shit. They're like, dude, we, we just fucked up big time. Like, like royally fucked oh, up. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they, they takes him to hold like the most extravagant hotel, right? Yeah. And Lil Wayne gets like the best top view, whatever. And the guy is like, this is the most baller shit. I've never heard of this in my life when Lil Wayne explained this. He's like, so what do you like? Lamborghini, McLaren, blah, blah, blah. And Lil Wayne was just like, ah, I like Lamborghini. But Lil Wayne at the time thought he was just, he was just saying, yeah, you know, yeah. what kind of car? Cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he's like, okay, I'll bring Lamborghini to your house in two weeks. What color are you like? The one was like, shit. <laughs> he was like, yeah. shit, I'll take uh, white. He was like, all right. So he brought, literally within two weeks when he got there, it was right there at his front of the house for free. Brand new Lamborghini, a million dollar show paid. Never, you know, any problems that he had, he made sure everything was good. That's a crazy ass story. To that's have crazy. That. Man. Oh, yeah. That's some bullshit that you can just deliver a Lamborghini to somebody, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar car with no like, you know, like, oh, make it happen. And they anything custom low wing wanted the car too, they had to do it automatically, like no matter what it was. So he could have could have said, Hey, get yeah. this Lamborghini with fucking 30 inch wheels. That's not even possible. The car doesn't even run. They'll make it happen. Well, that's just so. how like Arab culture is, man. 
They're yeah. very hospitable. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like when you come yeah. in, it's just like it's respect and honor. You know, like yeah. So um, when that you know yeah. uh, you know going through clearance like that's yeah. disrespectful and you know and the yeah. guy got invited there especially so. when you're in, in invited right yeah like oh, there's yeah, in yeah. Arab countries like closer. overseas for example you know um I, as again I'm Palestinian yeah. my mom she grew up in Jordan mm-hmm. so like there's a time when I was overseas and like uh you know the first thing when you go to a new house say someone invites you to the house mm-hmm. say you have a problem with that person right yeah first thing you do is you eat they don't there's no talking about the whatever you eat. Once you get her full, you sit down, you drink some tea, and then you discuss what you want, what your problem is, and whatnot. You know, yeah. It's always about like treating the guests with respect, and then right. talking about it. You know, so that's dope. Yeah. That's the same way with us too. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that story was just like I was like, that's, oh, a, that's out of this world, bro. Yeah. yeah like is, even yeah. low, no, even low Wayne, he's like, seen like wow. all it, kinds. Exactly. Of he was even like, what the yeah. fuck? Like I never. It is crazy, man. Yeah. He was yeah. like, I mean, when your dad or whatever uncle, whoever that guy is, <laughs> owns the country. Yeah. 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 Anything's possible. Yeah. You you think those those people got fired at the airport? I think they definitely lost their jobs. Yeah. They're done with. Yeah. Ship them. Yeah, like I, I, that's that's crazy though. Yeah. How do you like? I mean, if if you don't know who Lil Wayne is, he's kind of a different looking, you know, individual. Sure. So I can understand why they probably. But no, I man. think that's a breakdown in communication, though. That like, is, yeah, you know, that like, is. yeah. That's how does uh, like yeah. a VIP come to the whatever immigration line, you know, clearance exactly, and like not be known about? Like they should that's know the his key, flight man. coming yeah. in, yeah. like who's coming, what time he's coming. That's out. why he's yeah. pissed. The guy, yeah, the like, prince, was pretty yeah, like, "What yeah. the fuck?" Like, what's yeah. happening? There's yeah. a breakdown in communication. So definitely, someone got fired, as they should, though. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's yeah, that's, as they should. Because Lil Wayne was about to leave if he didn't come there in time, the prince, whatever. He was about to dip. He was like, imagine how embarrassed that is, like yeah. amongst all the other. You know, oh, that's it. It's a very the whole yeah. region, you know, like you know. And Wayne was like, "I'll just take a flight to somewhere close to Dubai. I forgot what location he mentioned." Yeah. He's like, "I'm just gonna leave and go out there and blah blah blah." And the flight guy was tired. He was like, "Man, I don't want to be going here." He's like, "But whatever. If you want to leave, you know." But that's crazy. Hey, man, he got a million dollars off of whatever show he did and free Lamborghini. And he actually let. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Skip Bayless, the guy who critiques. Uh, the sports stuff. He actually oh, let yeah. Skip oh, drive yeah. it for free oh, yeah. in Miami. No yeah, he lets him drive it whenever he comes to Miami because it's, <laughs> it's a free car he got, man. So to him, it's that's like awesome. Nothing. So yeah, that story is crazy. Yeah. So hype. Toast. Tell us about the Russ story, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Crazy. I totally, I totally forgot. Bro, I called yeah, you out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I gotta I, hear this. So crazy. basically, I had a website, diversehiphop.com, and yep. um, I needed interviews done, and you know, so hype was coming through trying to get Russ to do the interview. Um, and then you created all kinds of crazy shit. To try it. So yeah, just tell the story out, you know, right, shut man. Up. this is back uh, when I just moved up to Minneapolis. I was, you know, still doing photography and whatnot. And, uh, Russ was playing that night and Russ was like popping at the time, man. Like there was like a line out like around the corner. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it yeah, just, he was, it's just long up. Th- was, one of the songs went like diamond right now. Yeah. Some what, shit. Mm-hmm. I forgot which one. It was what called. you want? I believe what you, what you want. Yeah. The yeah. first record. Yeah, he yeah, dropped yeah. The, yeah. Um, so yeah, like. I mean, the the show was sold out. Whatever, I wanted to get in there. I just showed. I'm, like, I'm new to the city. I don't know anybody. No connects. Nothing. Right. I'm still establishing all that. So, uh, you know, I knew he was gonna play. So I ended up going to like a like a copy works type of deal. Yeah. Where like, and I created this. I like photoshopped this like this, this press pass with <laughs> yeah. diverse. It's just diverse hip hop. It had my picture, yeah. and underneath, you know, had the, you know just the logo whatnot. And on the back, yeah. I had this like. This person's an employee, blah, 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 blah. Like, like it just, I made it look legit. I put yeah. your, like, I went on your website and I put, like, uh, your, like, service, your contact email for, like, the service. Yeah. And then I signed it and then I laminated it, bro. I got a lanyard oh, around my neck, bro. Like, I was finessing yeah. it, right? I didn't have any of the, I didn't create no, none of that this shit. This guy had I no never, idea, by the way. Yeah, he had I, no idea. Right? Yeah, but, this guy. So, like, that night I show up with my friend. Shout out to Waleed. And uh, I just gave him one of my cameras. Like, all right, bro, just pretend, like, you know, I'll just pretend you're a photographer. You know, we'll get in. So I skipped the line. I go all the way up in the beginning, right? And this is like probably three hours before the show. Like this lines are already like there's people lining up. Yeah, we had the before. Yeah, sorry, go up, ahead. We man. had we had the when we were Kid Ink mm-hmm. interview. Yeah. We got to skip the whole line. Everybody stared at it. Who the hell? Yeah, is who are these yeah. people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, like, There was like three hundred people waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just like it was right dope. inside. Uh-huh. Where like, was this at? You were talking about the this rest? is Minneapolis. Bro. Uh, in Minneapolis. Did I not say that? Oh, no, no, yeah, you I, said that. I think oh, you did. I just sorry, man. Yeah, no, you're good, bro. So like I show up at the door, right, with the press pass and everything with my cameras. And one thing about being a photographer, you know, like sometimes when I was like a photojournalist, mm-hmm. you know, it just if you, you know, if you, you kind of act like you know what you're doing, people just kind of leave you alone, right? Exactly. And they kind of like open up ways, whatever. Like, oh, right. Mike, this guy <laughs> clearly knows what he's doing. Whatever, yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just love it. So I showed up and I was I tried walking through like a, like that dude stopped me. Like the guy, the security guy up front. He's like, who are you? I was like, I'm tuning a uh, you know Russ tonight. Blah blah blah. He's like, and he like looked through his list, like flipping over, like, you know, one page at a time. He's like, I don't see you.
And I, so I started throwing you under the bus. I was like, man, that's my uh, Quake, man. That's my boss. Like, he's always doing this. Yeah. And this is the third time for this month. But, like, so, you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> I had no you, you idea. Had no idea no, 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 You're just chill at home, bro. Yeah, playing play 2K yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he's like, all right, all right. He's like, uh, I was like, who's your manager? He's like, it's uh, Jennifer or somebody. I was like, yeah, let me talk to her. So, like, this manager comes up. She's like, who are you? And I was like, yo, I, I'm a photographer for Diverse Hip Hop. I was like, please tell me Quake talk to you. And she's like, uh, she's like, I don't know who that is. I was like, are you serious? I was like, you know, look, it's you know, it's a big hip hop blog. I start talking up, you know, diverse hip hop. I know about it, right? Because like, yeah. you know, and so uh, she's like, all right. And she looked at my press pass and she observed. It. She's like, all right, it passed her mind. I was like, yes. Oh yeah, you know, like, professionals. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So she started. Uh, she was about. She's like, okay, let me just contact Quake and see like who if you're you're good to go. And I was like, all right. So as soon as she like walked away, bro, I, I fucking took out my phone, bro. I texted you. I was like, yo, this girl's about to hit you up. Just say yes or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, uh, okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> sure. Like, yeah. like, like oh, two minutes, hilarious. three minutes. And you're quick with it. Three minutes later, she came back. She's like, right, you're good to go. Sorry about that. And she gave me like a real pass or like, uh, like the, That's like the venue's crazy. press pass. Mm. For that night, I met like the biggest DJs in Minneapolis. I met the biggest photographers. Like it yeah. set me up. Like I met everybody in the industry. I was like, you know, behind the scenes in a way. Right. Yeah. Like you, you pulled back the curtains and you get to see all the players and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, it really set me up for like, honestly, bro, the whole time I was there, uh, I remember at one point I was walking downstairs. I see, I, no, no, I was walking, I was downstairs in the green room with all, all the, you know, like the celebrities sit, whatever, like the performers, right? Yeah. There was multiple performers uh, that night. And as I'm going up, Russ is coming down. He like yeah. finally arrived in the building, right? Yeah. In my head, like I'm a Russ fan, right? So. Yeah. When I saw him, bro, I remember saying like, oh, what's up, Russ? I, I kind of played it cool, but my mind was going crazy. Like, oh, my God, yeah, that's Russ, that's whatever. Right. And he was with his posse, all that. Yeah. And he's like, what's up, boy? He said something like that. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, fuck, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but outside, I was just like, it's cool, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, like we ended up like, um, so when he got on stage, right? I have like a, a video of this. I remember this. He got up. He had like the Minnesota Viking shirt and everything. I was doing my photos and whatnot. His girl or the girl he was with, I should say. Yeah. No disrespect to you, bro. Like you know, what yeah. I mean, I love Russ. Like, yeah. Like, I, dude, I'm telling you, his girl was giving me smash eyes. Bro. Like, <laughs> she was eyeing me, wow. bro. Like, yeah. maybe she wasn't was, she tipsy or something. Like you said something like that. Like, or she, maybe. she was on something. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, who knows? That's you know crazy. What I mean? Yeah. Like, but like, but crazy. and I remember the photos. She, the photos you took of Russ too were they, amazing. Amazing. Man. You bro. showed me them. Yeah. yeah gonna, send I'm, them. Send them to me. I can put them up on the video. Uh, video version of the podcast. I got you, bro. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of cool. Like, no, you're a great photographer, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. A little like LED light, like the, yeah. the, the uh, what is the EDM shit? The yeah, yeah, that's yeah. clean, man. <laughs> yeah. That shit is clean. You go to different venues and like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, man, like, I mean, I just didn't do nothing. You know, obviously, you know, she could have been just like looking. Who knows? She could have been just out of it looking at me. But, you know, for of course, for my eyes, like, yeah. It looked like that way, right? No, it, it, remember um, <laughs> the Kid Ink? Oh, the God. Kid Ink, the fucking girl there was like drunk as shit trying to get with the DJ. Word. Like you could tell the DJ's like, man, like back off. Like I got, I got shit to do. Yeah, like yeah, fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> she was like trying to sleep. Like can you take me to the tour bus and meet Kid Ink? And we can, yeah. I'm like, we, nah, we, we were witnessing that at the bro, time. that's a lawsuit ready to happen. Yeah, you know what I mean? so. Like, uh, like, no, the DJ was like, hell no. Yeah, like we'll get, get out of here, man. You, I got you can't give consent that way, bro. Yeah, you, There's exactly. no way, you know, if she's drunk, you're drunk, yeah. whatever it may be. Like, yeah, there's no consent. Oh, no, it's like, crazy. Bro. The groupies. I'll like, see you tomorrow. You know, let's get coffee. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're done. We're not doing exactly. nothing. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's but crazy, man. Like, we've had that concert. Like the, we've gone to concerts like that, like Hobson. And then we went to KK and went to Fetty Wap. That's right. Fetty Wap was kind of, I hated that. The fact that the manager or whoever was there, they kind of like, we were going there, expecting to interview him. Last minute, they're like, we can't do the interview. I'm like, come on, man. I go over yeah, there, I drive yeah. all this far, and then last minute, you say, I can't do the interview. At least yeah. just don't, just tell me, like, you can't do it from the jump, so I don't have to even yeah. go over there. But yeah, at least I got photos. Like, I was pretending like yeah. I was a photographer. I was not even a fucking photographer. <laughs> I was basically <laughs> finessing it. I was basically finessing it. Cause yeah. I, was, I was like in a line, yeah. you know, like the front row, yeah. they leave it just for photographers. Yeah, yep. So I was in line with all these professional big Just lenses right. and shit. Yeah. I have this like fucking mini like noob ass camera. Home, ca home camera. Like, yeah. Like, DHS. Was, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. I was taking some shitty. I took some decent photos, but I was pretending like I knew yeah. what I was doing and shit. It was funny, but, but I would have loved to interview him. At the no, time. I mean, yeah, that would have been tight, man. Yeah. So. No, there's this one time. Uh, it was like a couple of shows after that. Again, I didn't have like the press pass, you know. Yeah. Uh, for the show, but I knew one of the guys I met at the Rush show because of this. This is another story on, added on to that. Yeah. And so, like, uh, I texted him. I was like, hey, bro, can you get me in? So he opened up the side door, and as I approached the side door, there's some guy smoking. I don't know who they were, but they worked at the venue, you know? Mm -hmm. And I guess they were, like, the sound engineers and the light engineers for, like, the, the show. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually, uh, this is MGK, bro. Oh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, yeah I saw the photos oh, you yeah, did. Yeah, this is
Yeah. So like we go up there, I'm, I'm gonna, they're smoking cigs, whatever. And so I show up, uh-huh. I start, you know, talking to them, whatever they see the camera, they start. And so they don't even think much of it. Then my friend shows up, lets me in again. They all like, to, like some, a lot of venues, you got to have like a sticker that says right, right, right. press, yeah, that yeah. says press. Whatever. No, when I did the, the little Dirk yeah. uh, video mm-hmm. shoot, they needed, they had to give me those passes right. in order to get anywhere. Yeah. Right. If I don't have that. They're like, exactly. nah, you're not going anywhere. So right. well yeah. for this show, but I didn't get any, right. Yeah. So what <laughs> I did is like, I had a jacket. So like uh, I you know I took that off whatever and I went inside. like you said there's like inf- there's like six foot in the front of the row like yeah. where you can go around Photo and take shoot, photos yeah. and the first three songs you can do after three songs you have to leave yeah right? they, 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 I was like what the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing, like I'm here taking photo shoot yeah, the yeah, yeah. first and you're just gonna kick me the fuck yeah, out yeah, yeah. There's like a come on man you, you fuck up my interview <laughs> <laughs> and now you just kick yeah. me out of this bitch I was like come on man and they got the, my sister and yeah, yeah, yeah and you we couldn't even get in man. yeah they they, they didn't even let them in no oh. she she got in I think. Uh, I was. No, you guys out. were all the way in the back. You guys paid for your tickets all the way in the back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I. By the way, that day. Okay, so there were there's people outside. Okay, and they sell out. They sell fake tickets. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. So he came up to me. He's like, I, I got a ticket, man. I got a ticket for the low load. You know, blah blah yeah, yeah, blah. Yeah. I'm like, for real, how much, man? Um. So he's like, this much. I'm like, damn, that's a lot, man. I, I'll give you a hundred. You know. Uh, he was like selling it like 150 or some crazy yeah. shit. This is uh, before the show. Yeah, before the show, because we like, couldn't. I couldn't get in. Yeah, yeah. Me and my sister, we couldn't get in. Because what we were expecting is yeah. with the interview. Usually, yeah. people can come in. That's like right. I can bring anybody. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So we right. expected that. Last minute, they change it on us, and they're like, "She like, only no, do only he, Quake he, can get in." I'm yeah. like, "What the f- bro?" You know. So the guy, yeah. <laughs> the, the guy sells me a fake ticket. I mm. don't know, man. You know, it looked legit, real. Look real, real. Just like that Rolex, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta tell that story. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I give him the money, and yeah. then as I'm walking down, this guy comes up to me. He's like, "Man, he sold you a fake ticket," because I he, he sold me one. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I go in. I'm like, let me just try it, man. I don't know. This guy could be bullshitting or some shit. Yeah. You know, I go in. The guy is like scanning it, and yeah. it, eh. I'm like, he's like, eh. I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Nah, man, it's fake. Get your ass out. I'm like, damn, are you serious, man? So now I'm pissed. Yeah, man. Like, when I lose my temper, that, that's it. Yeah, I, I, I was really mad. I came out that bitch, and I was I was so mad, man. I, because, like, I spent hours trying yeah. to get in this fucking place. Now this guy gave me a fake ticket, yeah. you know? So I'm just heated. I'm running out. I'm saying, where's this motherfucker? I, I was telling every, every, there was just, like, a bunch of people probably outside. probably dipped. Take, yeah, I was like, where is this heat. motherfucker? Find him. Bring him right here, right now. I was, like, yelling. Just people looking at me like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Mm. You know, I was just heated. I was mad. He, he ran off on a plug twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ran off on a plug twice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm mad. I'm yelling. Yeah. I'm going crazy, man. My sister's like, you need to calm down. She she can't even control me. Like, I just lost it. And these guys were like, nah, man, he's gone, bro. You ain't going to find this dude. I'm like, fuck, man. So I, I can't remember what happened after that, but I think we were just stuck outside, man. No, you guys made it to the end back, at the end back of the room. I remember that. I don't know how how I we yeah, got in after that. Yeah, I, I felt no bad idea. for you. That's what happened. Like. No, I don't think it was something like that. I think oh, um, the you guys were. I remember walking back out and I see I saw them at the left side. Somebody ended up giving us tickets or some shit happened. Yeah. I can't remember what the hell happened. And this was when the Fetty Wap was like at his peak, yeah. 2015. Yeah, so man. this shit was packed. Yeah. Everybody yeah. singing, "Hey, what's up, hello?" Like traffic. Yeah. I was like, "Damn, this shit's crazy." But yeah, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it's so like similar thing. Like, I mean, yeah. you so you were up there in that little like space. Right? Oh god, with dude. other photographers. Yeah, I was so. You have to realize uh, like they do that because it distracts the photographers, right? The flashes, like, oh, whatever. Yeah, so they want to focus on their, you know, their their fans and whatnot. Yeah, and in some concerts, like you know, they just let you do it. Like EDM on some concerts, yeah. they just like let you be there all the whole time. The worst was speaking of photographers, stuff. Travis Scott kicking off this person on stage. He was like supposed to be there. Oh, was he supposed to be there? Yeah, he was supposed to be oh, there. Word. He said, okay. "Get the fuck off the stage, man! You're ruining my set." And the guy's like, "What the hell? Like, that's so embarrassing." I, I, I don't like Travis Scott for that. For doing that, it's very, very like distasteful of him to do some shit like that where you just kick the guy. That's his job. He's at Rolling because he was performing at Rolling yeah. Loud. Mm. He was the video person at Rolling Loud, so he was supposed to be there. You have no right to kick somebody else. Supposed to be on that stage. But well, that's that's his stage. He's the artist. He does. It doesn't matter that that, that 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 whole arena is you know they're paying you to be there. Yeah. The, the, guy, the guy is hired by Rolling Loud. They've also paid Travis Scott to perform there. So Rolling Loud has a say on who's on the stage, too. Right. And he wasn't bothering. He was in the back just my, like recording a little bit. He wasn't even in front of him or anything. And the I guy mean, was like, but, get the fuck off. Yeah, but like, let me give you like a, like, you know, some, yeah. a counter argument on that. Yeah. All right, so you're a performer, right? Yeah. You like to have a certain performance. You want everybody around you on that stage. You need to know everybody up there. Yeah. You see this guy you never met before. 
I want to say get the fuck. I'll Definitely. be like, listen, hey, can you guys figure out, you know, yeah, a little more respectful. Maybe, maybe, Let yeah. your crew handle that. But like, the thing is, man, you're in front you know? of like thousands of people. Yeah. You're hyped up. Yeah. You know, like, but it, rolling, you know, loud is like paying you to perform. Yeah. I want to give a performance, right? No, of course. So like, I, I understand that aspect, but yeah. to, to, you to, to do, do it that way. That like, way. The, the delivery. Right? You know, he should have been like, hey, security checks. This guy is very, you know, like say something quick. You know, you can say yeah. the rappers, man. All you got to do is stab their fingers. All, they'll, everything get taken you care know, of. You know that shit got the hype, the crowd hype. <laughs> oh, I mean. Yeah, that yeah, shit got the crowd hype. I think right. in the video, but now yeah. like it yeah. haunts him because every time it comes up, people are like, man, Travis Scott's a bitch for that. Like, they'll say, okay, that's cool. they'll that's say shit like yeah. that. So, I mean, I don't know Travis Scott's mentality at the time. He's probably a hype, like you said. And just like, man, I don't want this shit. Like, he's probably, maybe something happened that day behind the set. Yeah. Or something, like, he was pissed off. So, but yeah, that, you know, that, like, the photographers, you know, they do a certain part. You know, they you need to capture these moments. Because Hell a lot man. of a lot of photos I use in my videos are damn photographers yeah. taking pictures. So, like, that's important, man. So, yeah. I wasn't a photographer and when it's, I dude, did it. Dude, it's a tough, man. It's a tough field, bro. It is. No, like, it is. I mean, like, me doing, that's why I had to, like, finesse it. Like, you have to do it that way. Or else yeah. you're never going to get be in that room, right? Yeah. You know, there's, there's a Japanese saying, a man is... In whatever room he's in, right? Yeah. So like, you know, or like, what you hear like eighty percent of success is just being there, or whatever the percentage is. And so yeah, that's how I like ended up going to the you know MGK and all these other artists were like, yeah. like for example, it ended that one story about me being up there, right? Yeah. I didn't have a press pass. The bouncer looked at me. He's like, hey man, who are like, where's your press pass? And it's almost like, oh man, it's it's on my jacket, you know. Mm -hmm. As I'm coming, I was like, oh, but I left my jacket over. It's too hot, bro. He's like, all right, but next time, man, have it on you. I was like, Damn, all right. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So that's the thing, though. Like, as yeah. a photographer, man, it's not easy. Yeah, no, 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 I don't. Especially know. with people like on Instagram. No, I mean, I mean, art is subjective, right? So I can't say as a photographer, like, oh, that's bad. It's photography. I mean, I can say like, I don't mess with it or I don't fuck with it or whatever. But I feel like it's just been so diluted now, man. It's like yeah. what, like, I spend so much time and energy on a photo, and then I post it up on Instagram, and it's just like. Okay, 15 seconds, someone looks at it, likes it, moves on. Next one. It's just like, no, no, no. It should. There's positives. There's positive and negatives, though. Instagram has, has opened yeah. a lane for a lot of photographers and people to, yeah. to blow up. I've seen a lot of photographers that I had no idea about. Video directors, too. Sure, sure, that sure. I had no idea about. Like photographers that did photog you know, yeah. take pictures of artists and all this type of stuff. But like you said, people don't appreciate it as much because they can just swipe, click like. It's just oversaturated. That, too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And there's some photography, I'm just like, you know, they'll take a picture. I'm maybe getting too technical with this shit. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know. They take a, take a picture and they like put the exposure all the way up or I don't know. Yeah. Or they just do some like wonky like edits and then it's just. You got to do it stand out though. Fuck it. You know, even if you don't like it. Like you said, you know, we were talking about this earlier. Um, to stand out, you got to do something different, you know, like because so many people are scrolling through so many things, you know, it needs to catch somebody's, you know, their eye when they're going through all that stuff. So that's very important to stand out from all, you know, oversaturation, you know, oversaturated market. So. Yeah, I mean, oh, definitely. so there's, like, a lot of, like, you know, award-winning photographers, right? You can look at, like, you know, from National Geographic, there's those pictures of animals we see, or, you know, like, you know, the Society of Professional Journalism comes out and they give a lot of awards to, like, these, you know, great, renowned photographers that, because there's some photographs that, like, literally define, you know, a generation or define uh, in an event, like, in, in a war. Like oh, the, yeah, yeah. The American soldiers pulling up, you know, pushing up the flag of, at, of the American flag at Iwo Jima, for example, World War II. That's iconic. They made a statue out of that, right? So yeah. photography kind of, like, cements... A moment in time for uh, it's the only way we can go like back in history without actually like it's a time looking, machine exactly yeah, time right. machine they see like photography yeah. is like, worth a thousand words it's true yeah because it can really capture a moment yeah that being said a lot of these major photographers go look at their instagram account mm -hmm. they have like a thousand people and these guys are like the pioneers of you know the people who actually you know i guess like pushed photography onto everybody right yeah they're the ones that actually like kind of forged the the, the path yeah. And then they don't get any love, right? And that's that's what I'm trying to get it. Like it's warped on Instagram where like the That's how it is in every field when you really look at it. The ones that really care about it, the ones that really put the effort in, usually they don't get the respect because other people do it just to get the notif like the notoriety from it, you know. And that happens in, in even YouTube, what I'm doing yeah. with hip hop, you know. You'll get people to half ass shit clickbait just to get views and they'll blow up way faster than me. I'm like, damn, I do all this fucking work. Exactly. And I'm not yeah. even, you know, on this. Yeah. But it, Long so, term, okay. I, th I look long term. I think like 10 years down the line, 20 years, you know, well, maybe if I took this photo, you know, maybe it'll catch the eye of somebody down the line and somebody's going to love it and then maybe use it for something really important. You know, that's the way I look at it. But yeah, I see what you're saying in terms of like, you know, there's there's people that take it serious. They don't get no known recognition. There's people that just do half ass shit and get the biggest recognition. All that kind of stuff. So there's yeah, a it's, lot. It's about being consistent with it. Like, you know, right. Like, so yeah. there's a lot of like fast burners that just like, 
pop microwave off is what yeah, they call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that so the term, bro? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's just how I look at like photography. I just that's why I kind of deleted Instagram, low key. Yeah. Like I just took it everything off. You, I mean, I've shown you some of my pictures today. Yeah. No. I'm sitting on a lot of good photos. They're crazy, you know? man. They're crazy. Like a li- the last two years, I've just been going and traveling, you know, yeah. shooting photography, and I got a whole archive now, and just like. It's it's like a private collection, you know. When people come over, I show them, right? But like they're like, dude, this is like you know whatever. But yeah. I don't. I just don't want to put it out there, because yeah. like, they mean a lot. Oh, no, it's your me. yeah, it's your babies, yeah, you man. know. That's all it is, you know. And that's how I feel yeah. about a lot of the content I do. I sometimes don't even want to put it out because I'm like, shit, man. Does the world need to see this? This all is amazing. But, but the, it's it's not about being. Cr- I, I love my shit being critiqued. Yeah. Like you can critique yeah. my stuff all day. It's just for me, like to put it out on a platform where it's like just overly not saturated. Not appreciated. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's like uh, it cheapens it. Yeah. And I don't think. Uh, I mean, maybe that sounds super, too pretentious, right? Like my photography doesn't belong on Instagram. It's too good for Instagram. Yeah. No, it's not that. Yeah. It just, um, I want to be, it's for me, I look at it as an art, right? Like I don't care for clout. I don't care for fame. I don't like that stuff. I just, you know, I want to push the art, I'll push the culture, right? So exactly. I'd rather put it on a platform where it, it's more appreciated, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe have my own exhibit. You come out and see it in person. You can see it. You can feel it. Like That'd it's different. Dope, yeah. You can discuss it with somebody next to you. You know, like That's very dope. Yeah. So. I mean, I think that's where I want to take my photography. I don't like if you want to see my stuff, man. Come out to you know a museum. Or the exclusivity you know, like is important too. Yeah, man. You know that makes it that makes it you know like way rarer. People like people miss that the exclusivity when it comes to like the photos, anything, yeah. anything. Like when yeah. you're when you're secretive and you're not as out there, yeah. people want more. You know, like when Drake stopped doing interviews and. Yeah. All these artists stop doing interview. Kendrick Lamar yeah. rarely does an interview. When he does do an interview, it's ten million views yeah, like that, like because yeah. everybody's like, "Holy shit, this guy is doing something!" Finally talking. So you know, there's there's a word in economics for this, right? It's called the law of diminishing returns. Yeah. As in, like, okay, say you want a Snicker bar, mm-hmm. and I got five of them, and you know, I was like, "How much you want for one Snicker?" You're like, "I really want a Snicker bar. Let me get, you know, I'll pay you ten dollars for one." Yeah. I'm like, "All right, cool. That's you know, bet." Yeah. Here's your Snicker. Had, yeah. Now I have another one. I was like, how much you want for a second one? You're like, ah, oh, I just had one. So uh, probably $6 or whatever. Yeah, because you're not craving yeah, it. You're much, right? craving it. Yeah, you're not craving it. Yeah. So there's a diminishing curve, right? Yeah. So I think that's that's with anything. You can't like, you got to give them just enough, you know? And that's why I don't deliver who really won videos hey. every single one. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys, you kill me. I was me. waiting for him. This is science, sign. bro. <laughs> yeah. I was I, that's exactly <laughs> why I don't deliver them every single month because you guys are killing me to get episodes. So I wait. I wait. <laughs> I yeah. like to take my time, make it great, and then, you know, eventually you get the product and you'll appreciate it, you love it, and then as time goes on, you want another one. But if I just kept dropping them every week, they wouldn't appreciate it as much. Yeah, I know? think more importantly, when they drop, bro, like, I want people to discuss them, right? Exactly. Discuss what they think yeah. about, you know, like, that's that's an important thing. But I mean, I mean that's in this the whole culture, point. it's hard, man, because, like, bro. it's just quick. Everything's quick. And, and it's all, like, shallow level, like, analysis. Yeah, like, no, like, really look at it. How does it make you feel? How does it, you know, like, exactly, how does it, does it move you? Do yeah. you hate it? If you hate it, cool. Let me know why. Like, you know, you know what comments like, I hate the most huh? is... When's the next one coming? Like, bro, I just enjoy this one. Like, <laughs> yeah. Enjoy this one, man. I've what what's next comments. one, man? What, 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 like, hey, uh, you know. like finding Nemo, those like seagulls. <laughs> nine, 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 yeah, nine, exactly. Nine, nine. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, enjoy this. Yeah. I took my time out an hour. It's an hour long documentary. We did a lot of research, editing, yeah, all this man. stuff. Enjoy it, man. For the moment, whenever the next one comes, it comes. Just enjoy this one, you know. And yeah, but it, it just. I understand. If I'm a fan, when I when I like when I hear Fifty drop a song, I'm like, damn, when's the next one coming out? You know, I yeah. love this track. When's the next? You yeah. know, I understand it. I could totally understand it. Being a fan of other stuff, but you need to, like you said, enjoy it, man, because you know it's too much. Just shit. Be in the moment, man. Just live life at the moment. Be man. in the moment. Like, and that's I not, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. It's hard for me to do. Yeah, no, it really no, is. It is, like, no, it is. You know, it's not easy to do for me, but me, I, when whenever you I can, though, yeah, yeah, whenever I accomplish something, like, what's the next thing? Like, let me let yeah. me a little bit just celebrate this that I did, and then move on to the next thing but i don't even want to i'm just like next thing get this out get this it's like come on man sit a little bit just enjoy this like and then yeah but you know it's just the fast moving culture you know all this stuff instant like anything that you want you can get instantly on your phone right mm-hmm. now and think about that 30 years ago that wasn't really possible man it's very hard to do that shit now anything if you get in a relationship issue with your girl or something everybody knows about you it. can go hit up a different yeah, person immediately yeah. and the thought like that's that's a problem yeah, we're literally like that's mating crazy. with other people using <laughs> satellites you know that's based yeah. on like what the hell like like humanity Damn. developed technology to a point where like that's you know we're just like monkeys with technology bro that's all it is yeah like, elon i like what elon yeah. said he's like saying? um we're like we're basically robots still like attached to our computer like it's, that's it that's it yeah it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's part we're of we're like us. the preload to like the prelude to like the ai artificial intelligence yeah and the, the chip being inside yeah. someone's brain yeah, is no different neural link yeah yeah there's no different from right, that's that. crazy like well, yeah. i mean that's just insane, a, he's like imagine 
like he's used to, he used to, he talked about this during one of the conferences for Neuralink, his new, like his company that kind of researches like uh, how to like integrate, um, uh, you can say like computers or technology into your brain, like how to integrate yeah. the, like the, your neuron network to like a computer and have a, like the... Because it's electrical waves. That's that right, go, yeah. yeah. There were like, there's like, what, 256 nodes in your brain. Yeah, that, yeah I, I'm not a neuroscientist. Yeah. So like, no, <laughs> it's not my field, but yeah. I, w one of our friends though, he does like a PhD MD, you know, like... Mm -hmm. I think he's finishing up his MD. Yeah. Um. But like you know, like he's uh, I think he's last year of medical school. But still, he does neuroscience and he really like looks at this stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um. But yeah, imagine like just like unlocking your Tesla just by thinking about it. Yeah, that's you know? crazy. That is insane. Like wow. somebody like just that's what he wants to do. I mean, I don't know why people are so scared of it too because it's your phone. Like if you if you were to leave your house without your phone, you would like lose it. You'd be like, what the fuck? Like yeah, yeah, because we're not used to like we need our phone with we're us connected, next. To, yeah, there's no right now. If you were to leave your house without your phone, yeah. it's over. Like you're gonna go drive yeah. right back, right back to your house and pick it up. Like, it doesn't matter how far yep. you are. I you just know, did that you, the other day. Yeah, I was so. like, ah, oh, shit, man. I was just yeah. felt lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of feel naked without it. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. I was we're attached to it. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like an extension. Up. It's like our third limb. That's, That's really what crazy. it is. Like our third. Yeah. Uh, it's a part of our hand, I should say, you know? Yeah, yeah, he was like, yeah, exactly. He's like, all you'd have to do is just cut off your hand and put the phone and it'd be the same shit. Like, that's literally what we're... You know, there's a... Me and yeah. actually the, our friend were talking about Dr. Abu Halawa, right? So mm -hmm. me and him were watching these videos of like, uh, it's like basically, uh, it's simulation. So it's like two teams, right? Mm -hmm. And the, it's like a room and the, it's like stick figures, right? And these stick figures have to move boxes and block paths. So there's one team that's blue, one team that's red. The blue team needs to defend themselves and not get tagged out. And the red team needs to, have to figure out a way to attack these people out. Yeah. And so they ri they run this iteration, the simulation, like thousands and thousands of time. And each time, it's the computer learns more about the game, more about the physics, its environment, and to a point where they, it started exploding, like the the, uh, the airs in the <laughs> game itself, where like it would move two boxes and it would glitch out, and then the guy yeah. would be teleported somewhere else and like get. The yeah. Out. No. 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 It's, I was just <laughs> watching it's, a YouTube crazy, video. Bro, no, no. I was just watching a YouTube video. It says. The title of the video is this video has this many views. And if you look at the views, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's exactly the How same. How is that? He in the video said he was manipulating. Uh, there's like a code he wrote. Yeah. You know that I'm not a robot checkbox yeah. that you check whenever you're doing stuff. Yeah. There, that code can manipulate, like do things without you having it. Like it moves by itself and it reads the, the, the whole website and it can scam it. It can do whatever. It can go on the whole like uh, coding database and fuck up the whole website. Like, that's why we have that. I'm not a robot because it can go pay shit with your credit card without you knowing. Like, that's how powerful just off that. And it's small ass coding. It's nothing like too crazy. Like hackers use that shit all the time. I thought like, wow. I, I heard like, uh, you know, it's just like, hey, click on all the fire hydrants or, you know, click on the crossways. You know, that's what that's, 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 one the, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. I heard that is because that teaches. So Google puts that stuff in there. For yeah. A for security. Yes. For bots. Yeah. But like B, like I heard it also helps program their artificial intelligence to recognize what's, you know, crosswalk, what's not. I don't know. Like it that. actually like helps that, 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 yeah. that back end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think personally what the future, what where the future belongs to when it comes to air, artificial intelligence, I think we need that. We're going to need that chip, man. I think it's going to be a combination of our brain. No, no. Elon, yeah. Brain. Elon said, you're going to be, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be slow, like compared to everybody else. You're just going to be yeah. very slow because this guy will be able to do math and like this oh, yeah, yeah. and you're going to be sitting there with your calculator and yeah, trying man. to, you know, that's just it's not like going to be like, you're going to have a disadvantage it's gonna in be life. Two different kinds of human beings at yeah. that point. And I personally that's think, crazy, man, yeah, man. it really, dude, the future is going to be weird, bro. Damn, no, 5G is imagine. changing the world. Like people yeah. don't even realize how big 5G, like yeah. the, dude, a doctor yeah. in a whole different country with no lag time can perform surgery to you here. If it's yeah. like the best doctor and wherever, yeah. you know, <laughs> they can perform it with the robot with no lag time. It would be like, he's actually there. And that's what 5G, 5G has like no lagging at all. The bandwidth. Like once, yeah, yeah. once it hits that peak, because usually when it's new, it yeah, has a little yeah. tweaks. Once it hits the peak of 5G, we're going to be in a whole different world. Man. We're going to have like a cyber war. No, I think the next type <laughs> of warfare serious. is like information. No, no, warfare. the next thing yeah, in life, right, the next thing of crazy. life is robots. The next thing of life is robots. We're going to be out of here. Yeah, dude, it's going to be it's like, be even like from a military perspective, like it's going to be literally two, like two robotic airplanes yeah. fighting each other out. Like oh my gosh, which program man. is going to win basically, yeah, right? Which, had, which side has a better program? Yeah, like it's, that is it's, crazy. Yeah, it's just, I, I mean, they, they did a, like a study where like, uh, I might get this wrong, but it's like basically what a computer, what an artificial intelligence computer, a quantum computer can, what it can learn mm -hmm. um, in, like what it can learn in 10 minutes, it would take, a human, a human being, twenty thousand years or something like that. Yeah. It was like something no, no, crazy. No, that's, that's where what like it is, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you can't compete with you that. You can't at all. So yeah. I mean, but we'll see, man. Like, uh, no, I'm excited. Po for there's it. positives of it too. Yeah. We're looking at it just from a negative perspective. It's just about so. how humans, 
how humans handle it. I mean, if you want to talk about sci-fi, imagine like downloading your conscious on this little chip and shooting your conscious out in like a <laughs> beam of light. So you travel at the speed of light to like, you can get to Mars in three hours, you know? Yeah. Or whatever. Actually, I think it's less. I think it's... Uh, Downloading your conscience. That's you know what I mean? Like, that just, is and then so like, weird. I just say, I'm trying to figure weird, out time. Bro. How long does it take to get to Mars, bro? I mean, I know six oh, months. Oh, it's like, like, it's like six, months. six life. I don't even what the no, fuck. No, it's six months with like our retro rockets and... Mars? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. like with our actually current like propulsion systems. Um, human, human, I should say, to get a human rated spacecraft to Mars. But how long does it take for light? I want to say there's a delay of like three minutes... Probably. Yeah, it, it is three minutes because it takes eight minutes from the sun. So if someone shut off the sun, this yeah. is not going to be on there, by the way. But yeah. If someone shut the sun off, right? Yeah. Um, it would take us eight minutes on Earth to go dark. And then, you know? Yeah, that's crazy. So that there's a delay. And yeah. so there's a delay, of course, but that's why we have to make those robots think for themselves in case they do something. So yeah, I'm crazy. just saying, imagine like, you know, taking three minutes to go from Earth to Mars. And so they just down, it's like teleportation, basically. So like you down upload your Instant shit to transmission. a link. Yep, yeah. you get shot out to Mars, and then yeah. from there it starts receiving it, picks you up, downloads you, puts you back together, and you walk out. That's crazy. Like there's something, yeah. That's, that's crazy shit. But yeah, who knows what right, we're gonna? Oh, let's, yeah. let's end this shit, bro. Let's end <laughs> yeah. this shit. All right, uh, that's it for this episode of the Diverse Mentality Podcast. This was episode six. Shout outs yes. to Feely for pulling through, man. Coming through. Appreciate the conversation. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> great conversation, bro, Vito, yeah, as usual. Thank you, man. Bro, yeah, oh, no, thank man, you, I appreciate the, the, all the appreciate things coming you coming, to, yeah, man. man. No, I no, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, he pulled up all the way from where again? Man, Virginia. Virginia. Bro. I didn't want to talk about it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Virginia to yeah. Atlanta. So yeah. we really appreciate it, man. And uh, that's it for this episode. Like I said, like, comment, share, go on the Apple reviews, review it, all that. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Saturday, the next episode. I'm going to have a different guest, too. Vito's going to be out. So I'm going to have somebody right. replace him. For the time being and this guy uh i've known for a while in atlanta so he's gonna be a cool he's more of a hip-hop head mm. is like you know he he has a very crazy opinions on music so it's gonna be interesting <laughs> what the fuck he says but I yeah so that's gonna be the replacement for Vito while he's out for that weekend but um other than that i'm always here of course every single day or whatever every single saturday so you guys know the drill uh thank you guys for listening once again thank you for your support thank you for stopping by yes bro. thank you bro. yeah thank please you please like comment everything all please. that so all right Man, i really want to hear people about their like you know their yeah. rap battle. yeah leave comments yeah. and all yeah. that yeah. yeah so if you're watching this on youtube leave comments. which right? rapper you want to see it. yeah exactly <laughs> no, and we're by the way we're just fixing this wall side we're gonna have the guests come through that i i know exactly who's gonna be coming through and then we're gonna have more rappers come through, and it's yeah. So just just be patient with me, guys. Be patient. That's it. Patience. It's a work right. in progress. Exactly. Yes. So, yeah. yes. all right, all right. <laughs> all right thank you, guys. Peace. Peace.